Okay, welcome back everybody. It's time to do some more Yu-Gi-Oh. We're all good, we're all set up, and I don't know who to go duel right now. Maybe I should just pass time soon, because Sunday is apparently when I can do the tag duel stuff. There's Bastion over there. Chaz won't talk to me at all. Duel Academy. Maybe there's people at the main gate I haven't, like, just dueled yet. I have the cat with me. That's good. Nova. Who's this guy? Let's duel him. Need something. What? You want to have a duel? Very well. Show me what you, you, you can do. Oh, I can't talk. All right. Let's beat him up. Win or lose. Go first, because why the heck not? Normal duel. Idol deck one. Now, what kind of idol are we talking about here? That's an important question. All right. Let's set that. All water monsters, so you're going to get the boost. I fear the heavy storm, but not enough. Let's just throw it right on the field and see if it'll be a deterrent. Right off the bat, you can't hurt me. You can't hurt me, I'm too strong. Look at that dolphin in the background. Hmm, let's book that back row. Negate attack, okay, not terrible. So now we got Nightmare Penguin. Let's just throw that down. Gonna have less HP when it gets flipped up, but it's whatever. I think the attack buff is more important for the beatdown strat anyway. This is a PSP game. What is that? Oh, yep, it's that kind of idol. A spirit of the forest powered by the surrounding trees and wildlife. Isn't that just like the elemental lady, Dorado, but she's just like... That's like her Luigi colors. Okay, okay, okay. Man's playing a waifu deck. He's like the third guy we fought doing this. Standby phase, main phase. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a waifu deck, chat. It's a waifu player. He's got charmers. Uh, declared battle. No, actually, this is fine. Back to your hand you go. <laughs> Works for me. All right, star boys on the field. Let's get them going. Nightmare Penguin's flip effect is pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Well, if he's familiar with Charmers, he'll be familiar with this monster. Okay. From what I understand, a lot of, like, old normal monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, at the very start, there's, like, several monsters that, like, they look, like, exactly the same, except, like, they're different colors, and... From what I understand, I think that was, like, a request from, like, the game devs at the time because they wanted to, like, recycle the models, so they told them to cut corners with monsters like that when they were make so that they could make the games easier. That's what people were telling me in some older Yu-Gi-Oh! playthroughs anyway. I can honestly believe that, but it's kind of weird. Well, I'm not going to finish him this turn anyway, so... Water Charmer. Oh. Yeah, it's beat him up. This song is a bop, chat. An absolute bop. How much of a bop, you say? How much? It's a teddy bop. Heck yeah. Also, oh, what does this do? Oh, it's a ritual summon uh, elemental hero Luigi. Okay. There she is. Elemental mistress D Dorito. There we go. I know what it says. I'm making a funny counterplay. I got Monarch. Ooh, this will be nice. Hang on. What does she do? 
The attribute of this card is treated as wind, water, fire, and earth. Okay. There we go. I know people got their Yu-Gi-Oh card waifus, but I don't know of any anybody who talks about Elemental Mistress uh, Doriado. I'm sure if I Googled it, though, it would. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. I'm gonna get rid of Gaga Gigo because Starboy's buff is nice, and we're gonna just boop that back row. I already know that the one on the left there doesn't do anything. Sorry, the Teddy's blocking the way, but I don't care. The Teddy is too cute. Ritual summon for a 1200-1400 vanilla, hell yeah. There's gotta be- statistically, there's gotta be someone out there that's just like, Oh yes, Mr. Storiato, my favorite card. Also, let's destroy it. Send it into the fissure. Okay. First, I'm gonna hit him with Starboy, because I'm spiteful. All right, Teddy will go away in just a moment. Don't worry. That teddy bear loves to freaking jam. You know I'm gonna spam the bear. You know I'm gonna spam the bear. Okay, what do we got? 188. No level up bonus. Not too loud, is it? I feel like the last few episodes were kind of quiet, so I kind of just try to turn it up. I'll be ready next time. Should I push my luck and try and fight the blue student? I'm gonna go for it. Talk a big game. I like your courage standing up against someone like me. I'll teach you how to duel through example. Okay. I have cyber dragon cards, but I don't have enough like spells and traps to like make it work properly. I have enough copies of it. Plus Cyberstein is like locked to the second half of the game, so. I'll kind of put that on hold. I'll probably try some other decks if I can. All right. What's another deck I could, like, make for this time? The only one I know about is just Cyber Dragons because they're busted. Or rather, they're just meta-defining. Well, may as well put you on board. Do that and turn. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? Upstart Goblin. Okay. Okay. Oh no, what will I do about that, those two back row cards, chat? What will I do? What on earth shall I do? I hate how the cursor defaults to my card back there. Okay. He's got a draw deck. Well, I destroyed them. What's the other one? Uh, Corpse of the Yadagarasu. Draw a card from your deck, draw two cards. Okay, he's got Yada on in his deck. How many elemental heroes are even available? Like, I know this game has more than at least Season 1 heroes. Like... I know- actually, don't I have a copy of Neos, at least? Not that I want to make a Neos Spation deck in 2006. Hell no. You can't pay, pay me any money to do that. Yeah, just pop that there. And let's just... Beat him up. His strategy is to draw cards. And, uh, he's drawing them, all right. Corpse of Yadagarasu was renamed to Legacy of Yadagarasu later on. Why? What was wrong with it? Is the name... Is the word corpse too intense for the kids? And turn. Oops. No, no, no. I didn't want to check that. That's fine. Oh, no. Okay. That's fine, actually. Alright, chat. We're about to rough up this scrub. Do 
This is fine. His back row, I know that Mirror Force won't be happening. That's fine. Magic Cylinder can still go off. Get him. There we go. Jar of Greed. Oh, no. He's using emergency provisions. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not a thousand life points. Stop it, Nova. I can't handle that. Stop it. Not the face down monster. Oh, God. You're killing me here. Let's just throw him down. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. You? You're gonna attack this chump. Cyber jar. Oh. Okay. Alright. Mm-hmm. Here we go. So what's his plan here? He His plan is to draw. Did I see Toon Table of Contents? I'm not sure I did. I've got a lot of cards here, don't I? Am I still in the battle phase? Yeah, I am. Let's hit him. This will kill him. His strategy seems to be to draw cards, but like Damon, he's not really doing anything with them. 310. Duelist bonus. I lost. What a nightmare. Somebody wake me up. I'll duel you anytime. It's my destiny after all. Okay. More people here. Yumi. Ri. How does that hair look? Hmm. Trying to remember what button it was to do stuff. Dual effects on. Do one more. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's duel. You're still not ready? Hurry up and come on. Draw. Let's take him out. I haven't seen this hairstyle. Rising insects. Okay. Okay. It's actually pretty basic looking. She looks unhappy to be dueling me. You ready? My turn. Draw. Okay. From my hand, I activate a spell. Pot of Greed. Go ahead, draw. I set a monster. What are you doing? Activate spell. Insect. Imitation. Offer one monster on your side of the field as tribute. Select an insect and monster from your deck that is one level higher than monster and special summon the field face up attack position, face down defense position, or face down defense position. The deck is then shuffled. Okay. Oh, that for flying Kamakiri number one? Okay. I set a card. Alright, I just wanted to see what her hair looked like on her model there. Let me turn that off. Wrong thing. Option. Dual effects off. Alright. And I don't seem to have an option for this right now. Oh well. Return it to the top of the deck. Uh, she's just gonna summon it again next turn. I'd rather wait for like some tribute monster to come out and do that. May as well throw down the steel cage. Turn end. Ant. Ant eater eating ant. All one word. This card cannot be normal summon or set. This card cannot be special summoned except by sending two spell or trap cards on your side of the field to the graveyard. This card can destroy one spell or trap card on your opponent's side of the field, but it cannot attack the turn you activate this effect. Doesn't negate the effect by using it. <laughs> oh well. 
So there's no point in activating it. Alright, I'm gonna activate the field spell. The Dolphin Land. Nightmare Steel Cage is still up. So... How much do you got? 1,400. Aqua Spirit would get the boost from that. Okay. Designate one monster. Now we're gonna special summon Aqua Spirit. I'm putting my whole hand into this play and it better not be something silly. Uh, do I wanna set this? I don't have any other cards aside from that require the discard, so I guess I may as well throw it down. Uh, wait, what? Hold up, why can't I? Oh, right, the Nightmare Steel Cage applies to me as well. A part of me forgot that was even on the field, in all honesty. Like, I thought, I kind of thought she destroyed it, but it was Shadow Spell. Never mind. I mean, it would have been the smart thing to destroy Steel Cage in uh, her situation, right? Hang on. Do I want to put that thing in defense mode? Just in case she can remove me, I probably should. So let's do that. No, I don't need that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I don't have much of a choice now, do I? Great. I got another Aqua Spirit. But I can't summon it. Okay. You got 800 uh, defense points. Let's see here. Change the battle position of all face up monsters on the field. Is it, can I still attack? Hang on. I want the monster must remain in the position. Okay, but it can still attack. That's the important part. Battle phase. Attack with Kamakiri. Then we're going to go to main phase two. And then I'm going to special summon my other Aqua Spirit. Look at me making the big brain plays. Excellent. <laughs> Look at me go. Okay. And I guess that's that. Turn end. Let me just adjust the slider here, chat. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I do not like that. This card cannot be special summon. Returns the owner's hand at the end phase. The turn is normal summoner or flip face up. When this card is normal summoner, flip face up. Select one face up monster on the field and flip it into face down defense position. Okay. All right. So you flipped it down and now it's safe. Uh, how much defense points did it have again? I should be able to beat over it. I should be able to beat over it. I mean, not like I have anything else I can do right now, but I was not looking at its defense points. Okay, that's how that interaction happens. Stuff like that is weird to me. Yeah, Sukiyomi's not... You just burned a dark hole on one monster? <laughs> We both got nothing left. <laughs> we still got nothing left. <laughs> wow! If this isn't the worst draw of my life. Okay, I put this deck this card in my deck for fun. Oh No, don't do that. How could you? Oh My god, why are why is my deck stacked like this all my spells at once jeez? <laughs> oh my finally a monster should I just go for Stimpak? Honestly, might as, might as well. 
Let's get her. This is hilarious, yeah. I draw a rock. I draw another rock. My hand is a bag of rocks. Got nothing. You got nothing. You're about to get busted. One more turn, and that's it. I win, chat. Ooh. Safe strat. Oops, I forgot to pound. I forgot to put down, uh. I forgot to put this down again before I did that. Oops. <laughs> now she lived. Damn it. Oh well. Yeah, I know. I need to. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. I'm still at the point of the game where I'm earning cards to put into my deck. I don't even have search cards. Of course I know it's not a perfectly bad, uh, perfectly good deck for drawing things. Well. I'm gonna do what set you, I guess. Nobleman of Crossout. Oh, you... Oh, okay. You fool. You bamboozler. Ultimate insect. Okay. There it goes. Fair enough. Let's activate this again. Oh my god, give me a monster now, please. Oh my... My deck has never bricked this hard before. <laughs> I mean, I could have ended it if I just put the frickin' field spell back down, but I forgot to. Oh well. Yeah. Do that. Oh. Okay. Here we go. I'm in trouble. How about a monster? How about a monster? Oh my god! What happened? Are you kidding me? Oh. oh, if this thing kills me, if I lose the duel because I didn't put the stupid field spell back down, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, finally. Okay, now let's check things out. This card is made for the field of attack of all your opponent's monsters by 700 points. Oh dear. Well, I can use my equip spells for the, to beat over that. It's just fine. I negate the effects of all trap cards on the field except this, so I don't need to worry about that. Can just beat over it for game with Monarch here after I special summon Dragon. Yeah. No reason not to destroy this. Now then. Put this down. Designate the monster you wish to reduce the attack by half. Increase attack. Uh-huh. And then, we're gonna do this. Because screw you. Yeah.
My deck never had ended up that bad before. Well, level up bonus, duelist bonus. Heck yeah. Boo-hoo, I barely lost. I'll get you next time. That was so cool. Invite me to duel again. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not there. Go back to the store. So I want to get a lot more duel points. I already talked to everybody for the day, right? Yeah, I did. Can I give them uh, sandwiches and crap now? If that's the case, let me go find Zane. Uh, let me go give Zane a sandwich. Where's he at? Duel field. This cat follows me wherever I go. Are you challenging me to a duel? No. Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Dueling. You listen? You had a great talk. Alright. Have I got... Uh, what do you think Zane likes? Phantom pepper sandwich? Spicy curry sandwich? It's late in the day. Man could use some spicy curry. Let's go with that. Uh, hot peppers. Those who can't handle spicy food should stay away from it. Yeah, I know. It's a sandwich for this. Make sure to watch out for seeds. Oh, seeded grape sandwich? Hell no, that's gross. Okay. Is this sandwich for me? I see. Thanks. You want me to eat it now? Gulp. Spicy curry sandwich. <laughs> okay. Some of these sandwiches are deliberately bad to punish people with bad luck. Oh. <laughs> Same as ever. I don't think he cared. If someone gave me a sandwich and told me to eat it right now, I'd be worried they did something to the sandwich. That's just me. Let's duel him. Ultimate Mecha Dragon, and I'm just like water. Maybe I should name rename my deck to like H2 Overkill or something. Damn. Suddenly my deck is not working out for me this episode. I'm drawing too many crap things, huh? That's fine. Let's go with this. Activate this. All right. What is this? If this card attacks a face-up level 3 or lower monster, destroy the monster with this card's effect without applying damage calculation. Oh. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. And we're gonna put a stop to it. Alright, let's go. Nightmare Penguin. This deck was not having issues the last few episodes, I'd say. And now suddenly I have too much things. Didn't seem like there was a downside to having three copies of my field spell, but uh, drawing them back to back when there was nothing on the field or hand is really annoying. So let's throw this down. Attacks a fa- Okay, so if I attack you, it's not going to make a da damn difference. Let's go. Oh, no, not the cylinders. Whatever. Hmm. All right, then that's that. Turn endo. She got Zane. Oh, he did that. The blowback dragon. 
Just toss the coin three times. If at least two of the results are heads, select one card on your opponent's side of the field and destroy it. You can activate this effect once per turn during your main phase. Go on. Do it. Do it, Zane. He's going for me. Okay. Hang on a second. How much attack points you got there? Um... Do I want to save you? Actually, I kind of do. Let me just do this so I can tribute next turn if I need it. So I'm going to do this now. Flip up the penguin. I don't want Penguin dying. Boop that back to your hand, and then we're gonna summon you. Hit him hard. Oh, come on. What did he send from his hand for that? Uh, oh, blowback dragon. <laughs> That's just a direct screw you to me. All right, then. And now I am I put myself in another bad situation. Cyber Raider. Summon, select one of its effects. Okay, none of those apply. Direct attack. I might be in trouble. Until this happens. Let's see... Now, you already used your cylinder. You got nothing else. You got nothing else. Why do you have two of those right now? Okay. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hit me. I just need any of my many freaking vanilla water monsters. Thank you. There's one. First, it seemed like I had too many monsters, and now all of a sudden I just draw all my spells back to back. There we go. Excellent. Alright, that's that. We should be okay now. We are not okay now. We are absolutely not okay now. Damn. Okay. Gravekeeper Servant. Ooh, this'll stop him. Hmm. Can't take one more hit. Would the AI be stupid enough to sacrifice that for that? It doesn't matter. I've kind of like, even if I use return to that, he's pretty much got me. Oh, well. Okay, I need to go shopping. Oh. Man really wasted Heavy Storm on that. I was slaughtering Zane, and then Zane slaughtered me. All right, then. You lose. 34 points. Zane got his second victory against me. I'll be glad to duel against you anytime. To the store. I need stuff. Jaden and friends went home finally. Okay. Would you like some cards? Yes. So what packs are available for me right now? None of the attribute stuff except wind monsters. Eh, not really. More eternal monsters. I have to wait a new day to try out some of these stuff here. This pack has new cards. I reveal my face down. Hi, I always wanted to say that. Equip me. You can totally use this pack, Spells and Traps. Continuous effects are in here. Hmm. 
Stretch, hang on, hang on. Record against Zane? That was my I lost to him twice now. That was my second loss, but I think I beat him like more than three times, didn't I? I think so. Alright, I'm stretching, there we go. I feel like I should check the, the store on a new day. There's not like a whole lot of stuff to choose from at the moment. <laughs> let's go home and let's go home. Have a new day. My deck is just not working out now, chat. Or I just had a really bad draw, like every deck has. I have a poster of Jaden in my room. Advance time. End the day. Five forty-five. Now, where was it? Was it Obelisk Blue? The cat shows up in the morning. Hi, Zane. No, I don't see it here. Who wakes up at 5.45 in the morning? There's a cat. There's no one to talk to. Let's see about that. There we go. One in three chance. Pet his throat. Oh, I got it. Okay, nice. All right. Now let's leave. To the store. Oh, the shirtless guy just shows up here. Maybe I should beat him up again. Make him realize why he shouldn't be, like, doing that. Show me what you got. Yes. What? There's light monsters. Eh, why not? That's really it? Gotta get some stuff in here. What do we got? Battery D. Elf's Life. Biomage. That thing. Doriato's Blessing. Soul of that. Amos the Infinity. Guilford the Lightning. What's that? Superconductor Tyranno. What do you got? What's that? Golem Homunculus. Pyramid of Light. That's good. What does that do? This face-up card is removed from your side of the field. Andro Sphinx and Sphinx uh, Talea on your side of the field. Uh, okay. Remove them from play. It's from the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. Okay. This card can be special summoned by... Removing two light monsters from your graveyard from play. As long as card remains face up on the field, decrease the attack all monsters your opponent's side of the field by 300 points during his or her battle phase. Okay. Element Magician. This monster gets the following effects. There's a monster in the element period on the field. Yeah, water's bad for me. I don't know about these. It's a seven star monster. Jeez. Maiden of Moonlight. Gil for the lightning. When this card is tribute, someone with three tributes. All monsters your opponent's side of the field are destroyed. Alright. Ray and temperature. Once per turn by tributing one monster, inflict one thousand damage to your opponent. This monster cannot declare an attack the turn. Okay, that's kind of crappy. Not as good as its like later version, for sure. Mystical Knight up the Jackal. Element Valkyrie, Battery Man C. Uh, increase the attack defense of this card by 300 points for each of your cards that is removed from play. Alright. I know this really wowed me. Yeah, 
Give me two of these, maybe. Maybe give me something good from this. How about that? Human wave tactics. Time machine. Whoopee. Last will. What's that one do again? If a monster on your side of the field was sent to the graveyard this turn, you can special summon one monster with a 1500... With an attack of 1500 points or less from your deck once during this turn, then shuffle your deck. Uh, wait a second. Was sent to the graveyard this turn. Okay, so I can, like, tribute it or whatever. Like, I can... Yeah, that's that's pretty easy condition to fulfill. Special summon a monster. Like, any monster with 1500 points or less. Yeah, that's really busted. It doesn't matter if it's, like, what its effect or anything is. It's banned for having too many ruling issues. Uh, how does its text conflict with ruling? Uh, there's probably something about it I'm not seeing. The fact that it has to specify you shuffle your deck means it's a pretty old card, doesn't it? It's been banned for, like, 15 years. Okay, I could probably put this in the deck then. Why not? Hidden book a spell. If this card during your turn, select two spell cards from your graveyard and add them to your deck. Your deck is then shuffled. Okay. Wait a second, wait a second. Special summon deck once during this. Oh! The, the, the problem is that I can special summon the monster at any point during the turn because of this wording. How does... Yeah, I could probably see how that causes some ruling issues, yeah. So, does that mean, like, I can summon during the end phase? <laughs> can I summon... Well, I wouldn't be able to activate it during the draw phase or standby phase. Uh... Okay. Or in the middle of the battle phase. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can just crash a monster into something. Summon... Uh, yeah, I just crash a monster if something happens and just summon another monster. As long as the card is active. Hang on, actually. No, a monster has to be destroyed first in order for me to activate it, and it which has to be during the main phase, but I can summon... Do the summon whenever the hell I want. Any monster from the deck, as long as it has that ability. That's... I could use that to cheese out, like, Starman, couldn't I? It's not limited, it doesn't seem like, so I could just put more in. I think two copies wouldn't be too bad of this if I could get it. Yeah, that's... that's really weird. Like, I can summon it at any point during the turn. Is that Don Zalug over there? Okay, yeah, it's Don Zalug. Let me see if we can get another copy. No, no, it's during my turn. I can't use it during my opponent's turn. Let's see if I can pull a second copy of it. Dust Barrier, Rope of Life, Abyssal Thing, Mind Crush, Magical Hats. Uh, Magical Hats is just going to be slow to use in a video game, so I don't really want to use it. More Magical Hats? Come on. Cost down. Discard one card from your hand, downgrade all monster cards in your hand by two levels until the end of the turn. That's a hefty cost just for that. That would really depend on the deck it's in. Reversal, quiz, send all cards in your hand on your side of the field to graveyard. Call a type of card, spell, trap, or monster from the top of your deck. If you call it right, exchange your current life points with your opponent's current ones. Oh no, my field is empty, but I have a couple thousand more life points than my opponent now. I don't like those cards that only exist for when you're really losing. <laughs> you don't want to plan to be in that position. Oh, you can actually do an OTK with it? <laughs> I would imagine, yeah, it's either OTK or useless. One turn kill, I mean. Okay. I'm sure I could craft some kind of OTK with this. Is Reversal Quiz banned because of that shenanigans? That'd be funny. Okay. I want to get another copy of Last Will. I want to... I'm honestly kind of concerned. Maybe the game would... Do any of those cards with ruling it, possible ruling issues, can they, like, cause, like, a crash or something to happen? I don't know. You basically just use the quiz and then a bunch of burn cards, right? That's what you're saying? 
Let's give it a try with this. Trap, dust shoot. Cost down again. Damn. Monster thing. All right. Let me try... Maybe a generic effect monster I can grab. That could be nice. Pardon me, trying to clear my throat. Hmm. Oh, these are really bad effect monsters. I don't like them. Oh, it's Kaiba Man. Whoa. Tribute this card to special summon Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand. Okay. I can make a Blue Eyes deck at some point. I like how Kaiba Man's a character in, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny Born Traveler as well. I got Dream Clown. That's a thing. I have three Cyber Dragons, but I feel like I need more, like, generic support to splash into that deck to make it, like, better. Because it's too clunky what I ha with what I have right now. But I could definitely use Last Will in that Cyber Dragon deck eventually, right? That would work. What, I feel like Last Will would be busted in a lot of things if it works the way I think it will. All right. Let's just buy the rest of these, and then I'll go buy get, earn more dual points. Let's do it. Let's just check. It, would it really just work for me to splash three Cyber Dragons in the deck? Because I need Power Bond and all that too, right? For the shenanigans I want to do. Magical hats, ew. Oh, nice. There's my second last will. Foolish burial. I mean, foolish burial I can't do much with right now, I don't think. But, um, I could just put three cyber dragons in the deck, because why the hell not? Should I just throw in a power bond in for the hell of it? Let's go... Let's go adjust. Future... Yeah, I could put Future Fusion in there, actually. That would work. I could cheat with Future Fusion, but I can actually just put stuff in my deck properly, so I'm not cheating. All right, all right. Let's, let's, let's make a weird water deck with, um... Not to mention, because I switched my field spells from Umi to, like, Umikura, or whatever it's called, that means Machine Monsters no longer get the penalty, so that could work. Let's let's try and do something here. Okay, let's make a weird like Frankenstein deck with what I got uh, Square that's right Okay, chat what do, you, what do you think needs to go? I think stuff like stim pack can probably go I feel like three three copies of my field spell is good, but maybe I should put it down to one Obviously, Mobius the Monarch is absolutely staying. That is, like, my favorite thing right now. I probably should get rid of Gravekeeper. I put that in there for fun, but it's not really going to do anything. I just didn't know what else to put in at the time. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Weakest Vanilla. I mean, I'm losing defense points on Umikura now. 1600. Mother Grizzly's got a good effect still. Starboy gives me a buff. Gagagigo's got 1850. Got 18. I guess, yeah, I could probably replace the turtles with uh, Cyber Dragons. Because I'm not really. When it comes to setting monsters, Nightmare Penguin has got that covered now. I, I would say. I don't have any more copies of Mother Grizzly. That's why I don't have more in there. Yeah, Turtle, with my field spell, loses its defense points now, so it's finally time to phase that out. And I feel like... I'll probably replace this with more with a Mother, Mother Grizzly, but I'm starting to get low on monsters. First, let me just go here. Uh, is it alphabetical? Let me just find Cyber Dragon. Okay, Cyber End Dragon. Let's put that in. There is put in two Cyber Twin Dragon. Or, sorry, three. Start fresh? No, I don't think I need to do that. 
I think my deck is pretty fine as it is right now. Hang on, seven co what's seven colored fish's stats? Oh, it's 18. I thought this was like a 1600 thing. Yeah, let's put that in over this thing. Seven colored fish, but there's also like these guys with 1800. Then there's like you, same stats really. Do you think I should get rid of one of the amphibian beasts since I got three cyber dragons now? I definitely need future fusion. Let me find that while I'm at it. Because that's going to be how I use the extra deck for this weird mishmash of a deck. Uh, I need to go down to F. Let me just do that. Uh, future fusion, future fusion. Where is it? I'm looking for the card art. I recognize the card art. I can't see it. it too lower. Oh, there it is. Okay. Cyber is tribute fodder in a pinch. Yeah, so... For tribute monsters, aside from Cyber Dragon, I have two Amphibian Beasts, and I've got, uh, Mobius, right? Mobius is a freaking god. I what? I- when they sell more of these, uh, packs, I need to replace the Amphibian Beast with more copies of Mobius. Like, this thing is just the GOAT. Literally same attack stat, too. Okay. What else do you think I should go with right now? Aqua Spirit will be less valuable when I have when I have um, less water monsters, but still, Aqua Spirit's still a free special summon if I can get it, and it gets buffed with uh, Umikura. The only non-water monsters I have are the three Cyber Dragons, excluding the extra deck. I they haven't sold the Aqua Pack again for a little bit. Apparently, it cycles through every day, so when I get the chance, I'm gonna plan to replace these two amphibian beasts with another Mobius H. What do you think here? Um, hang on, what's the sword option again? Sort by uh, card frame. There we go. Okay, so it's more monster than spells and traps, but what do you think, chat? Anything I think is could absolutely go right now. I'm not so sure. Oh, last will. I totally forgot to add that to the deck. You're right. I got distracted. Hang on. P Q R S T. Hang on. The last will. All right. Let's try putting two of these in the deck and see what it does. I want to. I want to stick to forty card decks. Do you think Acts of Despair can go? I honestly don't even end up using it. I already got rid of Stimpak, didn't I? Oh no, it's still there. You're right. This thing can honestly be a good, pretty handy. Better than Acts of Despair in the situations where I really want to use it, I would say. Yeah, let's get rid of Axe. Alright, this is better. Um, I guess I could get rid of her for another seven colored fish. Let me do that. Let me go all the way back to the top. How about that? Oh yeah, this is coming together. Everything's coming up Millhouse chat. Look at that. Look at that. Yomi ship is great for its effect. Like, opponents just attack into it. And actually, kind of combos better with removing my defense points. Because sometimes Umi makes it too strong and they don't. it doesn't die. I don't want Nightmare Penguin to die, but it's whatever. Its effect is really good removal, I think. So, yeah, this is looking nice. Yomi ship is grizzly searchable as well. Uh, Grizzly's also good for getting Starboy on the field, so I get the immediate uh, water buff. Uh, another one of these things? Like, yeah, I know I have another one. Um, I guess... Yeah, it gets water buffed in general, so... I guess that extra 50 is worth it now, because normally Gagagigo is unaffected by the other field spell. Okay. F, G, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Looking for the card art. Okay. So, if that's the case... Let me just ditch the snake, I guess. Why not? And, oops. Sort by card frame so it looks nice. No, 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 it's fine. But yeah, we're good. Kunai with chain is honestly kind of annoying because of how much it prompts me.
I think I'll try this right now. Uh... What would I name this deck other than just water? Yeah, suggestions are fine, but try to type tr type them out so they don't look like you're barking orders at me. That's all I really, really need. There we go. Hang on, I'm just trying to fix something. I got a loose thread on my... Come on. There's a loose thread on my sock here. I'm just trying to pull off. There we go. Water plus Cyber Dragon. That's a that's a boring name. How, you gotta, it's got to be cool. It's got to be epic, like H two O Hydras or something like that. That'd be cool. Water Teddy Moomin. Now nah, you're just spouting words that I say. Okay, let's duel somebody. Heaven and Hell. You were annoying, if I recall correctly. Halloween Corpse. How about we test it? Nah, you know he's kind of annoying. So let's not do that. Dragon hidden in the deep. I don't know if that's even that even fits. Hydraspery. That's just a rewording of my name. Hmm. Should I test it on Zane? No, no. Let's go bully Chumley. Probably in his room. It's 6.45. They're probably getting ready for school. I would be sleeping at this hour for sure. Ooh, they're all... They all got hearts. Alright, let's talk to them. Yo, Asprey, but you're surpri surprised to see me up this early. Everyone else is up too. You should go say hi. Oh, hey, Pharaoh. What are your hobbies? You want to talk to me? He had a great talk. A duel? Hmm, okay. Let's go. Alright, chat. I'm excited. Let's try out this, this deck and see how it goes. We got a plan for how to improve this, and we made it a little bit better. We can't have full fun with Cyber Dragons yet, but this is a good compromise, I think. I'm pretty sure Mirror Force is on the ban list right now and th at this game, so... NPCs aren't going to spam it like they do in Duel Academy. Okay. Now, what should we start with? I don't have my field spell, so let's take advantage of that defense. Throw you down. Turn end. Oh no, the Cure Master. Pot of Greed. Forest. All right, beat over it then. See if I care. Oh, Chumley. I was actually kind of hoping you would just destroy my monster so I could Cyber Dragon. Oh, well. No big deal. Goodbye to your field spell. Oh, no, MST. I should have Trunated first. Oh, well. Go ahead. So we can get to properly activate some of the seven color fish. Wait, it's buffed? Hang on. And beast. Wait, what? But you're a fish. What? Hang on. All insect, beast, plant, and beast warrior monsters by 200 points. Oh, no. Penguin. Penguin's flipped up. Duh, duh, duh. I was worried. I was wondering what was going on there. I forgot Penguin could even do that, because I don't really use that for anything. All right, then. Let's rough them up, boys. Nightmare Penguin gives just a 200 boost. It's so minor, like, you don't even think about it. Penguin's got that sneaky boost. End turn. Future Fusion is the only thing that's going to get out uh, any other cards there. Out of the extra deck. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You can also just fissure that away. Or let him waste time trying to attack into this. And beat over him. Oh, thank you for the gift subs there, friend. 
Which, that also reminds me, uh, hang on, I think I missed one a little little bit there ago, sorry. Yes, thank you, Tesco, for gifting two of them there. I missed that a little bit earlier. And someone anonymous just gave out five gift subs. Thank you very much, friends. Spam teddy bears as thanks you. As a thank you. Ugh, can't talk. Can't English. Oh, what's that do? Oh, destroys a monster on the field for free. All right, no problem. No problem. I want him to attack into me, so let's not put anything down. Oh, you idiot. You can't... <laughs> can't beat over that. Well, it's Monarch time. May as well destroy his field spell. Boop. Hey, chat. You want to see a koala get absolutely destroyed? Hey. Hmm. I highly doubt he can do anything. You never know if he could just draw polymerization and make Master of Oz, so... Just in case he decides to get a little cheeky here. Chat, stop saying it's Mobin time. That meme is like months old. People are going to be watching this on YouTube like a year from now being like, Oh, I remember that meme. That takes me back. Panda. Get him. Teddy's cheer as Koala Man is slaughtered. All right, Fisher only attacks uh, face up monsters. All right, chat, let's put him out of his misery. Uh oh, no! Don't summon the mice. Oh, don't! I hate the sight of little things. I hate them. The rodents. The rodents are appearing. The little demons. Well, I guess that's that. Turn end. Well, I can special summon, because why the heck not? He's probably going to have, like, Nimble Momonga or something dumb like that, so let's get him. Get his ass! Okay, let's get started. You bet. Yeah, no, wait, that's the last one. Finish him. Finish him! Okay, it's just that thing. The rat wall. Heck yeah! We did it. 174. Oh, darn, I lost. All right, let's duel. I guess I better talk to each of them. Take advantage of the fact I got the cat. Meow. Oh, Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Rumors. Rumors, huh? Nothing comes to mind. Oh. All right, well, I missed my chance to get closer to Cyrus. Unfortunately, I don't think I could think of anything I could care less about. I'm pretty sure Jaden always likes talking about dueling. I was just thinking I wanted to talk to you. You had a great talk. All right, let's duel him. Hey, Cyrus, did you hear the rumor about this loser that goes around campus talking about how Dark Magician Girl is his waifu? They say he's related to Zane. Can you believe someone that cringe could be related to Zane? I couldn't believe it. Ooh, last will. And future fusion. All right, here we go. Hang on now, send from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, so I can't use stuff from my hand. That means I can get Cyber Twin Dragon out with this instead. Okay, first I will special summon a monster. 
And then I will... We said the graveyard. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. So wait, I can activate this even before a monster goes to the graveyard? That, that effect just... That effect is just on the field for the whole damn turn? I could do I could do any of those things at any point. Oh my god, that is that is some crusty game design with the wording on that. Like I get they had to program it because they need it to match the real card, but I can't believe they wrote it like that. <laughs> this is why it was banned. I can imagine. Like I can I, I can't think of any immediate examples, but chat, if you can, give me an example of how stupid a ruling this can cause like I, I know that some cards can cause such bad rulings and even like a judge is like I, I don't know what we're supposed to do I don't know what the hell we supposed to do about this there we go because I uh, probably not the best to explain it actually so Just hang on send from your deck to the graveyard it has to okay it has to go from my field to the graveyard though that's the specification to keep in mind Okay, so I don't need to do it yet. How does it prompt me to activate it, though, I wonder? Like, do I just hover over the deck and it'll have the special summon option? Probably. From your deck to the graveyard, fusion material mention, the fusion mention, second one fusion mention from your fusion deck. Special summon the selected monster in your second the field outside of the activation. Special summon is trained as fusion summon. When this card is removed from the field, destroy that monster. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. For now, let's just do this. And we're gonna grab Cyber Twin Dragon. Select the two monsters. Okay. Last will was banned for be mainly bringing out Cyberstein, was it? I know that Cyberstein causes caused so many problems back in like uh, this format, specifically because people were using it to cheese out Cyber End Dragon for like an FTK. I basically did that in the Duel Academy playthrough. It was fun. Um, that doesn't work. Has to go from the field, which is fine. I'll su just set the penguin for now. Wait, wait. The ban part happens because you could use a fusion material in another mid chain. Wait, wait. Fusion material in another fusion mid chain. So imagine that with X, Y, Z, and other stuff. Wait a second. I'm not sure I fully understand what you mean, but I think I kind of get how that stupidly could happen. Cyber Twins usually FTK. Well, it's fine, chat. I, I'm not familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh's history, but it's fine. Y'all can give me an example and maybe I'll check it. For now, let's attack Jaden. Oh, look, it's Clayman. 100 more points, Jaden. 100 more points. All right, I guess I'll end my turn. Nothing on my field's going to the graveyard. Uh-oh. All right, he's using a rota. Ooh, just short. Let's bounce that back to your hand, Jaden, my boy. Well, I got two last will on the field now. Are any of these going to the graveyard, though? I mean, I can always just do use it main phase two if I need to. Uh, may as well just attack into him, because why the hell not? Let's do this. Chat is already debating whether or not it can be used in certain situations, so I believe the fact that Last Will can cause ruling nightmares, specifically because <laughs> because it's uh, causing ruling nightmares in chat. People are saying it can do this, and then someone's like, no, it can't do that. But I thought it could do this! Or could it do that? This is the exact problem it was banned for. Send it out, send it out, send it out. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Alright. 
That takes care of all that. He didn't do anything to kill me, so I don't need to use Last Will. There goes that, but it's his turn. Ooh. Yeah, the reason cards like that can get banned for tournament play is because if you if a card is worded so badly that to the point where they have to constantly call a judge over to like make a ruling on what happens in the game state, that makes the tournament take long, too long, and that causes like a lot of problems. Like, in fact, I'm pretty sure they banned some cards specifically because people were being like assholes and going to tournaments to use them to like stall out games as long as possible. Or intentionally going for strats that end the game in a draw to drag things on. People really do that, by the way. I don't know why, but that's a thing people do. I'm gonna waste an extra 15 minutes of everybody's time. Okay. Well, I can attack twice. Let's take a bite out of him. Oh. Oh no, Jaden, stop! Stop it, Jaden! Oh, uh, they got removed from play, so... Hang on, wait a second. Didn't they get removed from play? Or... Hang, hang on, what? H how did that interaction just work? A fusion deck... Okay, you. So it doesn't apply to the opponents. I understand, I understand. Okay. I thought that worked for both opponents where they get, like, the materials back. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I still got him. Get his ass, Cyber Dragon. Summoning the materials is optional to whoever activated it. Ah, okay, I understand now. So I was kind of right, but no opponent's actually going to do that, you know. Okay. Oh, I lost. Let's play one more time. Let's beat up Cyrus, too. Let's make sure he can join the loser squad. Heart of gold. But I have a soul of silver. And I'm gonna destroy you. Yeah, Diffusion's a quick play, and it can target both yours or your opponent's monsters. And I guess because of the way it's worded, you can just use it to, like, remove their fusion monsters, then. Uh, first to go. Well, I should probably start going second, because Cyber Dragons literally want that because of their ability. Oh well, I already picked it. Let's duel, chat. I'm gonna set a monster. I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna turn Endo. On a green. Patroid. Pick up and look at one set card on your opponent's side of the field, then return it to its original position. You can only activate this effect once per turn during your main phase. Cops are spying on me. Chat! And that's right, look at the penguin and attack it anyway, because the AI probably forgets what it does. Very in character for Cyrus. Ooh! You know what I like about this? And also, thi like, if I get this right away, and I select Cyber End Dragon, it thins my deck, and I get all my Water Monster stuff more consistently, so it's fine. And I basically get a giant beat stick coming out later. At least that's my idea, anyway. Probably could be dumb, for all I know. Alright, so I do, do I want to crash into him right away? I kind of do. Let's go for it. Flip up the penguin. Select a target. Throw that back on the field. And then I'm gonna tribute. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. I don't I don't think Cyrus can stop me. I don't believe in him like he believes in himself. And then I'm gonna special summon with the nightmare penguin I just threw out. Mirror Force isn't legal, it can't hurt me. Mirror for Mirror Force isn't isn't real, chat. I have to worry about cylinder, but it's okay. Yeah, he got nothing. Mirror, uh, we're not gonna get Mirror Force. Don't worry. 
Okay. Nitro unit. Equip card on your opponent's side of the field. When a monster destroys, equip monster and send it to the graveyard. Inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the attack of the equipped monster. Oh no, no, don't do that. Now you have to beat into Amphibian Beast, you idiot. <laughs> what an idiot, Cyrus. Get his ass. Battle phase. I don't think you have any high defense monsters, do you? Yeah, it's just Gyroid. I gotta hit it twice. That's all. Gyroids is annoying ass stall card. Hydrate? Yep, let me do that. I didn't miss any stretches there, did I? I feel like I may have with everyone talking about Yu-Gi-Oh so fast. All right, that's all I can do. Turn end. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. Ooh, that's mean. That's mean, Cyrus. Guess what I'm gonna do, though? You removed my Cyber End Dragon, you little shit. So we're gonna get, do some of this. What'd I get rid of? Limiter removal, okay. Have I got a surprise for you? Get him. Get him. Destroy Speller Trap. Yes, sir. May as well get rid of this one. It doesn't matter. No reason not to. Kill him. Cyrus gets sent directly to the loser zone yet again. 161. Useless. I lost. Asper, you're good. Okay. Heck yeah, I'm good. I got Cyber Dragons. That's all you need to be good in 2006. Now, which of these chumps have I not beaten? Michael. Let's take out Michael. A duel, sure. Come on, Michael, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? You gonna go second? Yeah, you go second. Good for you. Total destruction? Oh, nice of you to name your deck after what's about to happen. Let's go. We're in a future fusion right off the bat. I can only go with twin because I got one in my hands. Wait, what? Did I not hit the thing? Oh, no, I hit two. I thought I was selecting a third for a second. And then we're going to activate Dolphin Land. And then, then I'm going to summon Lizard Man. Heck yeah. That background looks like a field map from, like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. I, I talked about it, chat, but I would still love to replay that game on stream. Because what well, something I can do for it is because, yeah, it's... Oh, hammer shot. Oh, well. There I go. And there's that thing. Because all your monsters carry over when you play the second character's campaign, I can just, like, play it again with doing Kaiba's story first. There we go. That way when I do, um... That way when I do Kaiba's campaign, I won't be starting it with, like, Blackluster Soldier and, like, all this different stuff. Okay... Well, I can special summon you, but what was what was your effect again? When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, as a result of battle, destroy a monster on the field. Oh, that's great. That's great. Fantastic. Hmm. Do I really want to get rid of Trunade? Hang on a second. Let me read the wording on this. Stand by phase. When this card is removed from the field... Okay, yeah. I can't Trunade fu Future Fusion after summoning. That would be too cheesy. That'd be too cheesy. There we go. Destroy one monster on the field. So, not that it applies here, but 
this wording doesn't target, right? It says destroy one monster on the field. It doesn't say, tar like, target a monster and then destroy it. So does that mean it just bypasses a ton of effects? Do not believe it targets. Yeah, learning about that, like, weird rule about targeting stuff is just like, <laughs> you gotta be a lawyer to play this game sometimes. That's what it feels like. Um... Could be wrong. It predates problem-solving card text. Okay, okay. Do I really want to throw Trunade away just to do this? Hmm. I hit him hard. He's not going to be able to attack into me this turn with it. And, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be stupid. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to use Trunade while future fusions happen in any way. Oops. I... My brain thought I special summon Cyber first, damn it. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I could have sworn I special summon Cyber first, but I probably just. I obviously didn't. Oh well. Not like I could kill him this turn anyway. Oh. In the updated version, Nudoria does target. Okay. Because I know that they did clean up, they cleaned up, like, the wording on a ton of cards at, at a certain point. So that a lot of them actually follow the rules of the game now. Yeah, he's gonna pop Cyber Twin now. I didn't even think of that. You're right. I should have just let him kill Cyber Dragon. Yeah, there it goes. Eh, whatever. Because it's, like, you can see with, like, cards like Last Will, there's just a bunch of, um... Yeah, yeah, destroy it. Destroy it. Because I didn't think that far ahead. What was I saying? A lot of old Yu-Gi-Oh cards have, like, their card, their card text written in a very clunky way where it like doesn't like account for like the way the game ac is actually played i've seen a few videos about it that kind of just make fun of how bad some of the old text is one of my favorites is mask mask of restrict because the card text on it in the original version says no matter the situation your opponent can't tribute monsters and that's funny because no matter the situation literally is just the end all be all it's like you could, it's like, did you use it in a completely different game last week? Well, that's a situation, isn't it? I guess it applies. <laughs> so great. No matter the situation, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to do anything. It doesn't have any text that says, like, as long as it's face up on the field. It's like, just, <laughs> someone just wrote in stupid text for fun with that. Anyway, let's attack it. Adhesive explosive. Hey, that's my that's my scummy tactic, mister. He's got a lot of stalling like removal effects. This is like my strats. What does the updated version say? Probably something that actually makes sense, I would imagine. Well, guess that's that. I'm getting popped. There I go. Wait, didn't take da Wait, aren't I supposed to take damage from that? Hang on. Your opponent attacks this monster as face down defense push card and attempts an equip card equipped to attack monster without playing damage calculation. Destroy the equipped monster during the standby phase. Okay, I thought this did Oh no, it's Blast Sphere that does the life point damage, right? Yeah, adhesive explosive is it's a separate thing. And now I don't have anything, because I like played that so poorly around Nidoria. Oh well. To give you an idea of how dumb people can, like, bend the rules of things, I remember there was, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh card where, like, in order to get an effect, you have to, like, offer your opponent a handshake, and if they accept the handshake, you get a less powerful effect. So there was, like, there was, like, people who would, like, go to tournaments, use that card, and they would intentionally do, like, disgusting stuff to their hands so that people would refuse the handshake. To the point where they had to, like, make it a rule that you have to accept the idea of a handshake instead. Because people were being assholes about it. 
It's really stupid, but if you give people an inch, they will take a mile with this crap. Yeah, I know. I wish I was joking. I really wish I was joking. It's so stupid. Ugh. Anyways, I got nothing. Hang on. No, I got negate attack. I'm not going to put down kunai in case he heavy storms. Let me do that. Oh my goodness. I'm getting all the spells again. This is unfortunate. <laughs> this is really unfortunate again. Oh, just end turn. I feel like I need a dark hole in my deck for situations like this. Can I even get that right now? Hmm. He's only attacking with that. I'm not going to waste negate attack on that. Yomi ship. Well, that helps. I can't keep letting him get bodies on board, but I don't want to waste fissure on that thing. It's with the lowest attack, so if we flip something up, it's going to hit something anyway. You know what? I'm just going to bop him. Just because he's pissing me off. I got to make a point. All right, this is fine. Okay, Nudoria. Well, I wish I saved Fissure for that thing now. <laughs> Wait, is he going all in with this? Hang on. Nudoria's getting him. Hang on. What, when this card is destroying the venture battle. Oh, he has to! But it's not going to be as a result of battle, so the it, Yomi ship's effect isn't a result of battle, so... Oh, well. Never mind. If only. That would be funny, because then he would have to destroy his own monster. I'll let him attack me. Oh, I ended up in a crappy situation again. All because of that one new, new Doria earlier. What? I don't have two targets? How? Oh, it's all the cyber dragons and stuff, damn it. Oh, well. Salvage is... My monsters are getting stronger, so I guess I don't have as much targets. I probably should replace Salvage at some point then, shouldn't I? Ugh. A dark hole would be great. You you saw the deck chat. I have way more um, monsters than I do uh, spells and traps, so... I'm just, I just got bad luck with the draws here. Oh, finally. Let's go. Let's cause some damage. Maybe having three field spells is a bit too much because I keep drawing them all as well. But I need more spell actual... I need more cards to replace them with, you know what I mean? There we go. Most of my deck is monster and I keep drawing spells and traps though that I don't need. When I'm out of monsters. Um. Okay, let's just end turn. I can't do anything else now. A salvage at this point just lets me get back Nightmare Penguin and, like, Starboy for the most part. Okay. He can't do anything. But the problem is I attack into him, and he's just going to keep spamming, like, uh, more, like, Blast Spheres and an Adhesive Explosive. He probably has another copy of Nudoria in there. Man, what a pain. I'm, I'm, I don't really have much of a choice but to attack into him, do I? Uh, discard one card from, uh, from your hand to the graveyard and just randomly destroy all special summon monsters in the field. As long as it's based upon the field, no monsters can be special summoned. Okay, well, you can't do anything with that now. What is that? Flip, pick up, and see one face down defense position monster on your opponent's side of the field. If it's an effect monster, destroy it. Its flip effect is not activated. And if the card is not, return it to the original position. <laughs> okay. Those were pretty ass monsters, based on what he was doing. Oh, well. This guy is annoying to play against. Like, he, he's not even going for, like, the attack on me most of the time. Only when I was, like... He just... He probably could have finished me if he flipped up his other monsters, but the AI said no to that. Let's set you so that I can, like, return you something next turn, I hope. And then finish him off for sure next time. 
Steel Scorpion. Hang on. What does that do again? It will be destroyed at the end phase of your opponent's second turn after the attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Steel Scorpion. Ugh. Oh, there's another one. Put him in the thumbnail, but put a troll face. Can you imagine putting a troll face in a thumbnail in 2022? You could put a gun to my head and I'll tell you to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he tributed? <laughs> okay, buddy. Boy, you are gonna regret that. <laughs> One card on your opponent's side of the field. Doesn't matter if it's face down. Select a target. That's a target. Oh, he's dead now, chat. Unless she's got, like, Karibo in his hand. Get him, penguin. No. Stop asking. I'm in the battle phase. Stop that. Got him. Two twenty six. What a pain in the ass he was for that. I never even had a chance. See you next duel. Core of black light. Obelisk blue, raw yellow dorm, the cliff, the slifer red. Anyone at the volcano I haven't fought? Pippin. What name is that? Let's duel you. Show me what you're made of. Have you prepared? Yes, I have. I've prepared my cyber dragons. Let's get him. I'm going second. Fortress of Fists? That's weird. What does that mean? Alright. No Cyber Dragon for me, apparently. Let's throw that field spell on the board. Set that monster. We end that turn. Canyon. A rock monster in defense position attack. Double any battle damage to the controller of the attacking monster. Damn. There goes that. Monk fighter. Battle damage to this card's controller that he she takes from battle involving this card becomes zero. There we go. Chusuke, the mouse fighter. Isn't this like... A, like a four card archetype with these things. Uh, can, he's just gonna play the field spell again. So, may as well just bop that. Check out Chusuke. Look at that art. Cyber Dragon. Well, it's too late now. Too late now. Let's throw Aqua Boy down on the field. Did I say Aqua Boy? I meant to say Star Boy. All right, let's get him, I guess. Get him with that 50 attack coverage. Oh, Waboku. There we go. Like, I'm pretty sure Chusuke, like, ends up accidentally being in, like, this archetype because it has, like, fighter in its name or something, right? A fiery mouse traveling the world to become the strongest fighter in the world, or strongest fighter in the world of mice. Be careful not to touch him or you will get burned. All right, that's just something in there. Check him out. I'm gonna attack you anyway, because I can. Just the principle of the matter. Monk fighter is back. Whoa, you attack Starboy. Oh no, what do I do? You destroyed my monsters. <laughs> Seven colored fish, huh? Have I got a plan for you? I'm gonna summon that. And then I'm gonna special summon this. And 
And then I'm going to summon this. <laughs> You're going to like it. Let's get him. Hang on. Metal damage is cards controller takes evolve zero. I think I just hit you with the low attack one. Get him. Goodbye, Chusuke. Your life comes to an end. 2100. Excellent. I shall end my turn. Next player's turn. Share the pain. Hmm. I could do that. I also could just easily attack into him. And he probably can't do anything about it. Unless he's got, like, a rock monster. He probably has, like, giant soldier of stone or some crap now that I think about it. Because there's no reason to have that field spell otherwise. Or that, like, Aztec thing with, like, 2200, right? Or 2100. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Sorry, Aqua Spirit, but you're expendable. It was another copy of Chusuke? Man has a, has a spell. A field spell for double in battle damage and he puts a zero defense monster at the height of whatever okay what is this man doing chat what is this man doing did you not just do that i believe you did that a second ago and that's that it worked it did work yes Hey, look, another Aqua Spirit. All right, I'm not falling for this again. I use the Penguin to summon the Aqua Spirit. If I attack this and it's now Giant Soldier of Stone, I'm gonna blame everyone but myself. Monk Fighter, okay, good. No blame to be shared today. Pop. He is doing a good job of wasting my time. It's not even a rock monster. Zero, <laughs> zero defense beast type. Okay. Oh, he got nothing. He uh, really had nothing, huh? Fight him. You win. Check it out. We did it again. Dual bonus. I would like to beat every student at least once so we can see their deck. I eagerly await the next duel. Plus, I need all the dual points I can get so I can get, like, uh, another two more copies of Mobius in my deck. Evolving threat. Just stand next to a volcano. That's a safe idea. It's gonna be time for class in any moment. So let's just let that happen first. May as well find Zane and talk to him with the cat. Chancellor's office. I can go here. I kind of forgot about that. Who are you? Who are you? I manage security here at Duel Academy. Are you sure you don't belong in a war zone with that outfit? <laughs> she kind of reminds me of, like, Jill from Resident Evil 1. I'm a member of the Academy Ethics Committee. Committee. Bleh. I almost said Community. You're a transfer student, right? I know everything that goes on at this school. Why does it say chairman? You're not... No, cha chancellor, not chairman, is what who he is. Soon the Tag Force tournament will begin. I'm busy preparing for it. She kind of a waifu, not gonna lie. What are you talking to, Zane? It's over here. Can I duel her? I kind of want to duel her now. I don't duel. Okay. Unfortunate. Respecting your opponent during a duel. To do that, you must think of your opponent and consider every consequence of your actions. Yeah, I'm sure you'll do a lot of that in Season 2. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be able to do it. Meow. Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Uh, the Academy. You'll listen? You had a great talk. Chancellor Shepard. 
I'm just hanging out, creeping in the office. Oh, hello. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, you've come all the way here. Would you like to hear a resurrection spell? What? Okay. I'm only kidding. It's just a joke. Uh, he's terrible at telling jokes. No. Oh. <laughs> he's up so upset. He looks so upset that time. No, I guess if they don't have, like, a win-loss thing on the bottom, it means I can't duel them. I'll talk to her again. Soon the Tag Force tournament will begin. I'm busy preparing for it. Can't duel him. Hey, kid. Wanna hear a spell? What's the location I haven't checked out? Oops. I clicked Slifer Red again. It's almost time for class as soon as I leave, so let's go. Yep, alright. It's gonna give me another tutorial I don't need. Because I'm a pro at dueling chat. What's this? Let's start, kids. Take your seats. Professor, you dropped something. Oh, that's... It's a picture of Atticus. How did that get there? <laughs> I didn't know she was a fan of Atticus. She must be compensating for her old age. Bastion? Detention? Yeah, Bastion, what the hell's your problem, my man? I mean, can we be surprised? Because Bastion, like, we know that Bastion's waifu card is, uh, what is it, White Magician Pycro? Of course he'd say something like that. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're done with today's lesson. As a present, I'm giving everyone a card. The Shallow Grave. Rope of Spirit. Damage Condenser. Okay, so now we're actually getting, uh... We're actually getting, like, not tutorials and events are happening at class. That's cool. Talk to Alexis, because why not? Reviewing today's lesson, or are you in detention? Just kidding. Oh, Pharaoh. You want to talk about the Academy? You're just the person I was looking for. You had a great talk. Hell yeah. The dude with the ball cap. He's just so suave when talking to everybody. Okay. Should I do my daily duel of Z against Zane? Mm, I could. Let's go to the beach. Who else is here? Ruler of Machines. Ultimate Mecha Dragon. Heaven and Hell. Let's duel this girl. Her name is... You say it is Anka? Or, or Anka? I'm immediately reminded of the Animal Crossing character. You know the one. The one that all you degenerates have ruined. Dueler. A duel sounds great. Don't underestimate me. Are ready to go? That's good. Let's do it then. What's her deck here? All right, you're going second. Let me get a drink here. Warrior Recruit? Wait, 42 cards in your deck? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, lady? Let's, go. Let's do this. You're going to attack into me, and I'm going to boop something, and then I'm going to Cyber Dragon over your ass. End turn. Oh. Okay. Bit of a little overkill. Don't you think? But whatever. Yeah, go ahead. I know what you want to do. I know what you want to do. Her, her deck name is Warrior Recruit, and then she summons a Spellcaster. Of course she does. No face downs, huh? No face downs. Have I got a surprise for you. I don't have my field spell, so I don't need to throw out Amphibian Beast. May as well just go in with Seven Colored Fish and Starboy next turn. 
welcome to the welcome to the beatdown chat. I gotta try Duelist of the Roses sometime. That's one, it's a PS2 game. It's one of those weird Yu-Gi-Oh ones like False Bound. All right, turn end. One of these days I gotta do like a, a stream of like the, the 5D's Wii game that's also a racing game. That w that's gonna be like a meme-worthy speedrun, absolutely. Okay, there's that, there's this. Let's throw you out. DD Warrior Lady. Oh, you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, get rid of my Cyber Dragon. It won't help you. Let's get him. Hmm. Turn end. Ooh. Well, looks like I win, chat. I'm just gonna do this. I mean, I can also just share the pain and attack for game, couldn't I? In case she's got, like, some flip effect. Yeah, just do that with Yomi ship. What was it? Okay, it didn't make it didn't make a difference. It didn't make a difference at all. Seven color fish is just 50 short there too. Okay. Six eighty five, damn. Beating up the blue students really helps. Oh, shoot, you beat me. Take it easy on me, will you? Let's do it again sometime. All right. Hello, Zane. I need points. You're gonna help me out with that. I accept your challenge. Yes, he does. Maybe I should, I should advance the day so I have access to, like, the Aqua Packs. Or at least I can try to, because, you know, I don't know if it'll be available until it's the next day. It doesn't, like, swap out after school, right? The same packs are available during the morning and evening, I think. Here we go. I think it's by day. Of course it is. Pot of greed. Cyber Raider. All right, I got a dust tornado. Throw that down. Throw down our face downs and let's end our turn. Yeah, let's see what he does. Oh, you're gonna dust tornado, huh? You're gonna. Damn it! He attacked mine during the end phase, so I didn't get to activate mine. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing with that? Cut that out. Well, damn. Okay, good. Yeah, let's put a stop to that. So I can beat over you this coming turn. Alright, this is fine. Now the question is, which face downs? I think the two outer ones would probably be most likely. He just set them. Really, any guess is good. I've not been in a position to activate any battle traps. I haven't seen Sakuretsu armor today. Could this be it? What did I get rid of? Limiter removal and magic jammer. I don't think I've seen anybody activate this. Everyone has it in Duel Academy, though. The GBA game, I mean. Gotta specify that. Alright, please don't be Sakuretsu armor after all that. Okay, good, good, good. Looks like we're alright, chat. For a split second, I thought maybe I had my normal summon. I was confused, but that was my tribute horse. Reflect Bounder. Oh, great. Well, then. 
Hmm. Owner's hand. It's not really worth giving up my water monster. Especially when he's got three face downs and I don't know what they do, so no. We'll wait on that. Not unless I have Aqua Spirit in my hand. I shouldn't be hasty with that. So attack this with the Reflect Bounder. Or sorry, attacking the Reflect Bounder with that. And hope things work out. He he put his whole hand down, so let's start eating through it. Go ahead. Hang on a second. I wonder, how would this interact with Reflect Bounder? Does it say original attack? Damage calculation, this card inflicts damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the attacking monster. Oh, right, attacking monster, not mine. Duh. I, I had that backwards for some silly reason. I thought I accounted for his attack power. If I could get Jinzo, that'd be nice, but I can't get a lot of the better trap cards right now. I mean, I've been pulling stuff, but I'm not getting great stuff from what I've seen. Don't need to do that. No! What did he throw away for that? What did, what did he throw away? Oh. Oh, no. You cut that out. Can't believe I'm getting destroyed by coin flips. Alright, let's do it. Hmm. Throw you down and just use Ri, uh, uh, Ri Ryoku. That's how you say it. Then just beat over him. I don't think that face down is going to be a problem. I'd rather have two bodies than just go right into Amphibian Beast in case he has some shenanigans like, like a Sakuretsu armor. I'm scared of it, okay? Do that. Then we do that. All right. Okay, nothing activated. I was really worried about that. And now he has one card on the field and nothing in his hand. I got him. Oh, we got nothing, chat. His ass destroyed by his own signature card. Two thirty. Oh, your duelist bonus is pretty lame, Zane. Pretty damn lame. Lame. Yeah, can't talk. You're better than I thought. Guess I underestimated you. There we go. So, do I get the extra bonus to uh, affection points or whatever you want to call them when the cat's with me from the duel, or is it always only the conversation the cat affects? I don't actually know. They all got hearts. We dueled the jewel girl. Anybody back here? Hmm. Let me take a look at the cards available. It should be the same stuff as this morning. Yeah, it's just the light monsters. I don't want those. Just gotta save up them points. Save up them points. Uh, let me try the forest here. It's both okay. Hello, Bastion. I don't really want to talk to you, but I guess I will. Now it's my turn. Draw! Hi, Asprey. I'm doing some shadow dueling. It's strange. Training in the woods like this calms my soul. What do you want to talk about? Dueling. Hmm, you sure I can talk to you? You had a great talk. Let's duel this guy again. Drawing is good. I come here to hone my drawing skills. It like pilgrimage. All right, let's go. You want to duel against me? All right, you gotta see some drawing mastery. Let's go. No, no, the Discord is, uh, the Discord isn't sub-only. 
There we go. Mons, you can just put a link there. Lose. Win. Second to go. First to go. So this guy's strategy is really stupid. His, his entire strategy is just draw cards. He doesn't have a win condition. He literally can't do anything except draw cards with his stupid deck. So it's great. Man, I haven't seen Mother Grizzly in like ages. I never draw this thing now. Let's throw this down. Hmm. Throw down my penguin and flip it next turn. I really need to put that down. End turn. All right, hang on. Oh. My dude. My dude. I've got like two cards on the field. <laughs> okay. Um. My dude, my dude Damon. What the hell was that play? <laughs> what the hell was that play? The, the AI in this game is amazing. What the hell was that? <laughs> he just nuked the whole field. <laughs> he really hated that penguin, apparently. He really didn't like that. Oh god, what am I gonna do? He just threw away his entire hand and field in turn one. Well, it's turn three, but you know what I mean. Anyways, um, let me turn on animations. He's funny. Well, I don't even have to s summon Cyber Dragon now, because why not? I guess I'll attack him, because he's an idiot. Negate attack isn't even going to do anything. Ah! <laughs> uh, you good. That was the best play I've ever seen from an AI. Guess my turn's over. Me draw. Change all. Me turn. Draw. I set a monster. Or me set a monster. End me turn. Oh, it's last will. Okay. Hang on, let me try this now. So... Since the graveyard this turn, you can special summon one monster with an attack of 1,500 points or less from your deck once during this turn. I want to try it out, so let me just tribute. And I can use it whenever, right? You may activate it from the deck. Okay, that's how it works. Select effect to activate. Oh, I, okay, that's really weird. Please select a monster from the list that you wish to special summon from your deck to field. Okay. Okay, it's all them. May as well just throw a uh, star boy on the field. All right. <laughs> that's really cheesy. What's he got? Dark Mimic. Activate monster effect. Draw one card from your deck, also during your standby phase. Send this face-up card to the graveyard to special summon one Dark Mimic level three from your hand or deck. All right, he drew one card. Get him. All right, turn end. Me draw, change all. Me turn. Draw. <laughs> I like how his mouth at the end of the animation just kind of like clicks into place. <laughs> you see that? You notice it? Yeah, you're seeing it, chat. You're seeing this. All right, I'm going to summon Aqua Bear. Got to have a teddy in your, in your deck here, chat. Teddies make everything ready. Let's get him. Morphing Jar. Oh my god. Alright. Here we go. Well, he got his he got his hand back. Still the battle phase. 
I got another last will. I can just use that for Cyber Dragon again. Bring out another Star Boy. We got him. If there was a teddy bear archetype, perhaps that would interest me. You good. Uh, just end my turn. End my turn and do something. Let me escape trouble through draw. Corpse of the Yadagarasu. Oh no. From hand, activate spell. Remove all cards in your hand and on your side of the field from play. Draw cards until you have two cards in your hand. Oh. Damn, damn and my man. Damn and my man. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> From hand, quick play spell. Destroy one face up monster, skip your next draw face. That's literally the opposite what you want to do. Why do you do that? There goes Star Boy. I end me turn. Oh, he's so bad. Hang on. Turn off animation now. Now then. Activate last will. If the conditions are met, you can do a funny. Sacrifice the teddy. Do that. Activate. My last will. I'm gonna put another star boy in the field. I'm gonna go all in. Okay, it doesn't matter what I remove. All right, let's get him. All that absolutely unnecessary overkill. All right, he had nothing. He had no armor or anything face down. 157. His duelist bonus is 50? He's an obelisk student, though. I know that. I really know trying that time. You want to go again? Haha, uh -huh, bye-bye. Okay. Samurai spirit. Enzo. Let's find out what Enzo's got. Duel? Oh, <laughs> you want to duel me that bad? Hurry up. You ready? You win. Damn right I won. Living it up? What is that gonna do? I have no idea what to expect from a name like that. Blessing of the Nile. Each time cards are discarded from your hand to the graveyard by the effect of a card control by your opponent. Increase your life points by a thousand. Oh god, no. Stop the horror. Increase your life points by- Oh, living it up. He just- Constant life point gains. Okay, cool. <laughs> I see, I see. That's just mildly annoying, I guess. <laughs> I wonder if Share the Pain can combo with Cyber Dragon. Like, if I have one monster on my field and he's got two. That's kind of situational, though, but I could see it being useful, maybe. Oh, well. Let's set that down. I don't need my field spell yet. May as well take my defense points. So he's just gonna go for life point gain and probably not have a real strategy. His deck's got more than 40 cards. Gaga Gigo. We're gonna flip. His monsters are probably going to be like flip effects stall crap. Alright. 
I should be safe with my field spell. Better to have more bodies on board than just throw Amphibian Beast. This is another reason why I want to replace the two Amphibian Beasts with Mobius. Because if I tribute them on, on the field, that's just two back row boops, and I love it. It's that like it's so good for this era of Yu-Gi-Oh to just get two free removals off a of really good tribute summon like that. Okay. I'm worried he's got high defense stuff, so let's find out. Oh, you piece of garbage. I'm surprised it wasn't draining shield. Nothing I can do except make these go off. When this card is sent to the graveyard, increase your life points by a thousand. Okay. The only life point gain stuff that mildly inter interests me is I like the uh, the Aromage archetype. I like their neat idea of just having effects that go off when you gain life points. So there's actually a point to like increasing your life points, I guess. I don't know if they're any good or not, though. I just thought the name was cute, Aromages, because they're plant witches. Um... I guess that's that. Turn end. Okay, it's just that. I'm just getting a sip of my water there. Oops, wrong button. Hmm. This ladybug monster is currently seen play in a mill deck to win duels when time is called. Oh, so it's it's a degenerate strat, is it? All right, let's throw down Star Boy. Get that big buff. And let's attack into some stuff, why don't we? do magic cylinder again, bro. Oh, you piece. I should have known that was going to be in your deck. Hmm. Well, I should have shared the pain, but I did. I couldn't have known what it was at the time. Well, let's get them. Time rules are horrible in tournaments right now. If a games, if games go to game three, people just try to gain life points or burn the opponent and stall. Yeah, I heard a bit about that. That sounds annoying. I did hear from in quite a f about it. it uh, blah, let me start over. I flubbed my words. I did hear in like a few videos that there was like a card, like self destruct button, that people were using that to like absolutely like uh, stall games or just go for draws. And that they had to ban that. Because obviously the card does nothing but end you in a draw, so it, it's a nightmare for tournaments, I guess. He is so annoying with this strat, isn't he? There it goes again. Okay. Now, we are gonna mess this boy up. Uh, I don't really need to throw down Amphibian Beast at all, because these are all buffing each other. I may as well go ahead and give myself the attack boost to speed this up. Let's do that. This penguin's got a kunai with chain. All right, let's get him. All that gain life points, chat. All that gain life points. And after all that, now he has less than 8,000. Imagine if he's got self-destruct button. Oh, that would be funny. He can gain life points, but he can't do anything with that, really. There's Cyber Dragon. Don't really need that. Um, I'm kind of worried about flip effects, but... I, I don't want to, like... I don't want to lose my boosts from Penguin in that. I feel I already got rid of the worst one. I should be fine to attack him. I should be fine to attack him. Okay, yeah, it was Dancing Fairy. Get him.
He's already almost dead. Look at that. Great strategy, Enzo. Look at all those life points you got. Oh, good. You're gonna recover 500. Hey, another star boy. Check it out, chat. Everybody is too strong now. Stall Skull Dog Moron. Okay. He has no strat. His strat is to stall, and that's it. <laughs> He's a pure NPC. 266. Damn. That duelist bonus, I guess. No, you're pretty good. Don't get carried away. I'm a pretty busy guy, but I never turned down a duel. Alright. I think I should just go home and go to bed. I've talked to all the characters today with the cat. I have talked to everyone, right? Chaz won't talk to me. I talked to the, the Slifer Trio in uh, the morning. So let's go to bed. Then we'll try and check Pharaoh in the morning up there. Gillian's in the way. He just sits outside my door. Advance time. End the day. Plus, I want to get to Sunday, because apparently, like, that's when I can do some tag duel stuff. And, you know, it's only been, like, more than 12 hours of this damn playthrough. Oh, I can talk to the person again if they move to another area? I thought that didn't apply. Okay, well, whatever. Didn't I already check this one before? I did. Oh, this is another congratulations, I guess. You have been selected as a recommended student. Okay. So I got two of these in a couple days. Is that really good, or is it, like, more common than I thought it was? I don't know why it still says new. Okay. Gonna talk to the teacher after class, then. Or I could just go right now, actually. I haven't seen one of these in the 30 hours I've played. <laughs> How did you get two in your first week? Chad is very confused at my luck. Okay. I'll take it that they're stupid rare, then. Um, right. It's raw yellow in the morning, and I have a one in three chance, basically. All right, chat. Oh, God. They put him in the worst spot. Meow. Pet is back. Oh. Uh, you can give him a sandwich, right? Hang on. Hamburger sandwich. Give. Meow. All right, there we go. I gotta buy more sandwiches, though. Okay. Got like four or five in ninety in a ninety-one day span in game. Damn. Okay, first let's go to the classroom and get my points. I imagine that uh, if there's speed- like, I know people like to speedrun Yu-Gi-Oh games. I assume that getting luck for this is good for dual points. I don't know if you want to get dual points for a certain deck to sweep the game with. All right. Yes, I was selected. The music is so happy for this, like it's life- like it's a life-changing event to give me a thousand duel points. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess that's that. Okay, let's go to the store now. Free extra thousand points. There's Damon again. Alright, Sadie. Welcome, would you like cards? Yes. No water. Instead, Earth is how it... Do, like, does it cycle through, like, on the same, like, uh, days? Like, is it gonna have to go to dark, then fire, then water again now? Hmm. Wednesday is water. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Wonder if there's any 
Well, I may as well get something while I'm here. I don't want earth monsters, do I? I don't think there's any, like, earth staples at this time, was there? And Sunday don't count. Oh, I got toll. All right, well, we got that for later. Can I get Swords of Revealing Light from this? That would be better than, um... That would be better than what? Nightmare Steel Cage? I don't want to spend all my points, but I want to spend a little bit right now. Try one there. Let's try and advance this day fast if I can, because I want to try the Sunday thing. Oh, Chain Energy. Okay, that's another thing for that, uh, that stupid deck idea I have. We'll get to that one day. Not today, though. I need a lot more cards for it. What's that? As long as this card remains face up on the field, both players must turn their... Oh, oops. Turn their respective decks upside down and continue the current duel. What the hell kind of effect is that? You mean like the cards have to be facing up? That's a really weird effect. Can like... Works with Archfiend. That would let you do some cheesy stuff that lets you predict the top of your deck. You know what I mean? Wait, where is it? I pulled this, right? Archfiend's Oath. Once per turn, you can pay 500 life points to declare one card name. Pick up the top card of your deck, and if the card name is the one you declared, add it to your hand. If not, send the card you picked up to the graveyard. Damn! That's like a free draw for 500 points each turn. That's a... I mean, I can't really search those two out to set it up, so it's a little inconsistent, but that's funny. <laughs> that's funny as hell. Hang on. Does it say actually say continue the duel as normal? Or is that like an old version of the card, I guess? If you have two Archfiend's Oath, you draw two. <laughs> um... Is this, like, Last Will, where, like, the wording of this could cause some kind of, like, shenanigans with, uh, rulings? I... I can't give an example, but I feel like this card can cause something stupid that clashes with the rules. I feel like it probably could. Not really? You'd think that a weird effect like that could. Chain Energy is funny, because each player must pay 500 life points per card to normal... To normal summon, special summon, or activate cards from his or her respective hand. So yeah, what you do is you turn one, set up your board, then play this, then watch your opponent cry while they have to pay life points to do anything. <laughs> I love doing that so much. It also is per copy, so if I put three of these bad boys down, they gotta pay 1500 to summon or activate cards. Isn't that cool? That card doesn't have any issues, really. I feel like something stupid can or will happen because of this effect. It does have a ruling thing where you have to flip the decks back over on destruction, but that's about it. Huh. I guess that's true. And continue the current duel. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. Once it's destroyed, you have to flip your decks face down. Uh... It's just really, it's such a very unique effect that you feel like it's got to cause something somewhere. All right, let's say, let's keep saving up my points. We want to wait for Wednesday so I can get the uh, thing. Uh, let's do Lily, I guess, and then let's just go wait for class. I'm going to stand up and stretch a little bit. Let's do all. It's funny that they need to tell you to continue the duel. That's actually pretty funny, yeah. It writes on the card, keep playing the game after you activate this card. <laughs> That's actually really stupid. Why would they need to write that at all? Like, you're gonna be so flabbergasted that you flipped your deck over that you forgot to play the game. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna stretch. I've been sitting down all day. Long stream. Please don't leave. The game's still fun. Please don't leave. All right, we're going to throw this down. And I'm going to set this, and we're going to end the turn. Mad Sword Beast. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
You buffoon. You imbecile. My turn. Okay, seven colored fish. All right. Uh, what should I throw down here? Also, wait a second. Is that, are those supposed to be fins or horns? Let me get a closer look if I can. Not really. I always thought those were like little fin arms. I think they're just supposed to be like horns or tusks or something. Well, ain't that something. Let's throw down seven colored fish. Hmm, to throw you face up. If I get Swords of Revealing Light, Nightmare Steel Cage is gone in exchange for that. Like, for what my deck is trying to do, Swords is way better. I don't know if I can get it, though. It's probably in the continuous effect, I would assume. 2,000. I wonder, do people do speedrun of the Tag Force games? That could be comfy to watch. Comfy to see the strats for making, like, the, like, the meta obliteration deck for the game. I know people really like speedrunning Forbidden Memories. Ah, uh, and apparently, like, even Reshef. Sabersaurus. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Share the pain. There we go. Life has many attack buffs, Starboy. Well, you're dead. There we go. I get him. My favorite part of this episode was Damon activating Final Destiny on like his first turn to destroy two cards on the field. That was a very bold strategy. You can't tell me that move wasn't hype. I absolutely did not see it coming, so it must have been a good move. I couldn't predict it. She summoned another one. Now, she has dinosaurs. Didn't I already duel a obelisk blue girl that uses dinosaurs? I could have sworn I did. She must be another one. He'll go, I'll go minus four, and then he'll just pass. Yeah, let me hydrate. My glass of water's kind of been sitting out for a bit, though, so I can hate that. There we go. Finish her off. We win. We win. Ooh, that's a fancy bonus. Level up bonus. And 200 on the duelist bonus. I lost. You won. That's all I can say. Goodbye. Forgotten words. What does that even mean? It's a dinosaur deck. Well, let's go to class, I guess. Is it possible to sleep through class? What? Class starts at 8, right? I think so. I should probably go around to people and uh, talk to them with Pharaoh, though. Chancellor's office. That'd be the best use of my time. Hello, ma'am. Soon the Tag Force turn will begin. I could stab someone with that chin. There we go. Oh, you're in a good mood. Respecting your opponent, you're in a duel. Do that, you must thank your opponent. Sir. All stuff you're gonna back out on as soon as you leave. You think she hasn't? <laughs> you listen? He had a great talk. Does he have any different dialogue? Oh, hello. Anything I can do for you? Resurrection spell? No. Oh. Oh. He's sad. Do you want to duel me yet? I don't duel. Can I give you things? Jam sandwich. I don't want it. <laughs> Rejected. Rejected. That's the way the cookie crumbles, fellas. I don't think she has a name. 
I don't think she does. I don't want it. Talk to Alexis, I guess. Good morning. Oh, Pharaoh. The Academy. Just the person I was looking for. He had a great talk. Okay. I could talk to Bastion, but chat, is this weird? Is this controversial opinion? But like, I don't really want to be friends with Bastion. Is that weird? Am I weird for thinking that? There we go. The door. I figured out how to get the door working. Oh, yeah. Feeling good today. Get your game on. Oh, he said the thing, chat. He said the thing. No, you're not weird. Okay. Duels. Oh, I just want to talk to you. Hey, what a great morning. Meow. Oh, Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Dueling? Oh, it's just the person I wanted to see. Had a great talk. Hello, Chumley. Bet you're surprised to see me up this early. Uh, the Academy. You want to talk to me? Yeah, great talk. May as well talk to him. Since apparently we can just talk to him again after the locations change. Except for Chaz, I have to wait for a certain thing to happen at the end of the month before I can eventually talk and befriend him. Where is... where is he? Said he was here. There he is. I've been up day and night doing research. I'm trying to create a new deck to rival yours. I haven't been this excited in a while. Hey, Pharaoh. You want to talk about dueling, of course. Oh, you sure I can talk to you? I had a great talk. Everyone blushes when they see the hat, chat. It's time for class. Oh, Banner will duel me when I have Pharaoh? Okay. Cyrus, what must you have in a duel? I know, Chancellor. Respect for your opponent. Right. Respect your enemy and respect yourself. And you respect yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. We're done with today's lesson. As a present, I'm giving everyone a card. You got, uh, the little swordsman of ale? Is that an I and L together? It kind of blurs together there. Maiden of Aqua, ew. <gasps> Another teddy! Look at that! That's actually useful to me. That's not. Uh, I don't need any more of those. Uh, what's that do again? We got a bear. Do I need a second bear? Kind of. Reviewing today's lesson, or are you in detention? Meow. Oh, Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? The Academy. Do I really want need to put another Grizzly in my deck? I think I should. What do you think, chat? Should I just ditch Salvage for Grizzly? Or what? What could go to throw in another Grizzly? It's my pet cat now, that's right. It follows me everywhere I go. Bear summons bear. True. Bear is better than salvage. It actually salvages something. Besides, I keep bricking with uh, spell and traps lately, so may as well. Oopsie. We can also put in the bean soldier. Uh, what card was I looking for again? Mother Grizzly. I totally just blanked on what I was doing for some reason. Mother Grizzly, Mother Grizzly, there she is. Alright, double the teddy, double the fun. Unshaven Angler axes two tributes for level 7 water monsters. Yeah, I don't need that. That's fine. Alright. Look at all them teddies we got, chat. So now that I know what to do once I have cat... 
uh, oh, I've been nice to your brother? Oh, he said something different there. Okay. Dueling. You'll listen? You had a great talk. Okay, was this always here? Am I losing my mind? I feel like this wasn't here before. I feel like I must be. Bears acquired, chat. Teddy's on the loose. Uh, check out the store. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to y'all. I should probably get my hands on, uh... More sandwiches while I'm at it. Hello, Jaden. Just always talk to Jaden about dueling. There's no way he'll be unhappy. How about we talk about dueling? Let's see what they're selling today. There's no one to talk to. I disagree. Yes. Still earth monsters. Oh, wait, the same. I checked this morning. What am I doing? Yeah, 50 dual points each. Ramen noodle sandwich? I feel like that's gonna fall apart. <laughs> no, I can't duel the, uh, the, the store workers right now. They just say they don't know how to duel. But they have a thing on the bottom of the screen, so that implies I can probably duel them at some point. Pineapple sandwich. That's a idea. I was very close to golden egg. Oh, I didn't even notice. I just pressed the button. Uh, let's get some more. I think Sadie and Dorothy are, are new game plus only. Oh. Okay. Normal egg sandwich. Okay. Chat, these sandwiches, are they making you hungry or making you lose your appetite? Destiny sandwich? What the hell does this do? Uh. Where's my item menu? Hang on, I gotta check it through here, I see. A sandwich, but there's no telling what may be inside. Oh, it's a- it's a random sandwich. Oh, I don't want to... Imagine biting into a sandwich not knowing if it's, like, made of ramen noodles or pineapple. Oh, thank you. The mystery sandwich. No one knows how terrible it could be. Normal egg sandwich. Okay, one more for the road. Another one of those. This doesn't sound very appetizing. Is that a vending machine with more card packs inside? I think it is. I'm trying to make out the pictures on that. I'm leaning in here. One of those... I can't quite make it out, but I feel like I recognize some of the pictures on that. Some of the pictures are also, like, the ones that are there, too. What are they? Probably just generic images. Yeah, I, le I was trying to lean in so I can see what the hell they were. Hmm. I already talked to Alexis. I already talked to- I All that's left is Bastion, I guess. An ASMR stream? What am I gonna do? ASMR, like, uh, ball cap duelist, like, wrecks you with cyber dragons. That's what I'll do. Hi there, Asprey. Fancy meeting you here. I always practice shadow dueling in the woods. It's my daily routine. Oh, hey, Pharaoh. Dueling. Sure, I could talk to you. You had a great talk. Great talk right there. Oh, 
Um, who else can I go to? I guess I could try dueling banner since cat's following me. I haven't I haven't tried that yet. And then I can just go to bed. Card pack opening ASMR. I mean, I got some card packs I can always open. You never know. They just sitting here doing nothing. Where is he? He's not here. Let me look around. Nope. Come with me, cat. I'm trying my best here to go through the doors, I swear. Sometimes they just don't work properly. <laughs> I don't remember what door was Banner's. Is he even here right now? There we go. Okay, that's their room. Stairs also not working. He might not be here right now. Maybe he's in, like, the Chancellor's office. Oh, and that's also with the Chairwoman lady. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go there. Let's go check there. Hello. Did you miss me? And there's him, too. Nope. No other teachers. You may be in the same dorm as him, but try not to become the drop like the dropout boy. Soon the Tag Force tournament will begin. I'm busy preparing for it. Are you now? Where else could Banner be? Uh, what's the location? I haven't really checked. Could it be at, like, the harbor or something? I don't know. Trying to just think of locations I haven't really checked. There's a helipad at the Duel Academy. Okay, we've beaten you. No one's here. I like how there's just two separate menus like this. The cliff, raw yellow dorm. Have I checked the cliffs at sundown? Zanny. Woody. Hoorah. And you're that guy. Nothing else here. Just random people looking the duel. No, I already checked this, uh, every room in the Slifer dorm. He wasn't there. So I'm wondering if he's just somewhere else. What about the abandoned dorm at sundown? Have I checked this out? Why would Lyman, Bander, Lyman Banner be doing here? I, like, flubbed so many words in that sentence, it's not even funny. But it's okay. A spooky game with this asset and art style would work. I think so. I kind of want to try and do something like that. Again, we talked about it before. There's only, like, Yomawari. No one else is here right now. The abandoned dorm, or no one's allowed to go. The volcano at sundown, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna check th this place again because I almost feel like I missed him. Maybe towards seven o'clock he appears because that's when like uh, dinner time is. Is there something that can happen if I go to the forest at midnight? But I don't. I think it force doesn't force me to go to bed at some point. Hang on. Let me try going to my bed to uh, pass time. Advance time. Advance up to seven. So I can actually check the forest late at night for something. All right, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Let me get in here. 
Hey everybody, what's up? There he is. Ah, hello, Asprey. How are things? Studying hard? Let's duel. A duel? Ugh, I'm just not in the mood. Meow. Well, Pharaoh says so. I'll duel against you. Now then, let's duel. All right. Cat says no, he's dueling. Uh, go second. Cat is sourceless existence. Well, that sounds exciting. Two cyber dragons. Stray lambs. Whoa. He's summoning lamb tokens. Stumbling. Any monster that is normal summon, flip summon, or special summon is changed to defense position. Why? <laughs> That's annoying. I'm gonna have to true nade this boy. Oh. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. I just want you to know that right now. So, uh... What do I do? <laughs> what do I do against this? Hang on. Normal summon. Okay, tribute summon isn't gonna bypass this either, right? Uh... So as soon as a card hits the field now, they're just automatically gonna be flipped into def set to defense position. Hmm. Yeah, Tribute's considered normal summon, so I'm not going to be able to, like, uh, get around that. I need Dust Tornado or, or Mobius. That's what I need. It also counts his, so he can't really do anything to stop me. Huh. <sighs> what a pain. I guess I'll just have to do this for now. Let him go. He's not doing anything. There's Aqua Spirit. If I have Last Will and then Tribute Summon, I might be able to pull something stupid out of my ass. I can activate this now. I guess. I may maybe I should wait for it, just in case I have to play defensively with my monsters, because then I'm just gonna hit their defense now. So, I, here's the thing. I can true nade. Oh, right. I should probably turn animations on, because he's a character we haven't seen. Right, let me do that. Never thought about that. The thing is, if I true nade, he's just going to put them back down, and he has four monsters in defense mode, so I'm not going to be able to beat over that in one turn, so I think I just got to wait for maybe Mobius... Let's just go. Wait. Wait a second, you're right. But it's too late now. I can just put him in attack mode. Because it's a new turn. Oh, it's not It's not a permanent thing. It doesn't forcefully lock them into attack mode or defense mode forever. I think you're right. I think I'm just overestimating the card. Right? Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, it just locks him down for the first turn. I was getting scared for nothing. Well then, I guess we'll do this. I don't know what his plan is. Just go for it. Okay. That was kind of the, uh best thing for him, given the state of his hand. Oh, I got Mobius. Okay. And I got Last Will, and I'm gonna tribute. Main phase two. Oh, right, anti-spell fragrance. 
Uh, I could just activate this after I bop it with uh, Mobius. Let's do that. Okay. It's gonna get in defense mode, but whatever. I need to use that. First, get rid of that stupid thing. Go ahead. Chain's not gonna stop it, right? Wait, no, it says when. Uh... Okay, it says when. Can that- does that mean it can get interrupted and miss timing? I never thought about that, but that didn't seem to be the case there. Alright then. Let me activate last will. Activate. Don't want to accidentally hit uh, surrender. Mm, I think I should put Starboy out. Increase attack on all water monsters. Hang on. Field is... Oh yeah, I can protect Mobius easily, so let's just put this on. Well, it says you can destroy up to two Speller Trap cards. I don't... Yeah, that's not how it works there. Stumbling activated after the summon, but Mobius activate, activates during the summon, so Stumbling takes effect before being destroyed in that case. I don't fully get it, but it worked out in my favor, so I won't question it, but when it comes to the cards that have when or if in their card text, I know, like, that causes some shenanigans you have to be aware of, and I, I can't wrap my head around some of it. Okay... So right, I was in main phase two. Shadow spell can protect you. I don't want to decrease my defense points by activating this. All right, it all depends on what he's going to do now. Let's find out. If an effect activates, it can't miss timing anymore. Okay. I set a monster. Okay, he's still doing this. I guess I'm good. He could have went and destroyed Mobius, but he didn't even try. Alright, let's flip this boy into attack mode. Uh, Yumi Aruka. That's what it's called. There's two eyes in there. That's why it's confusing me. Alright, may as well summon the Grizzly, because if it gets destroyed, I get to bring out another Star Boy. All the buffs are active now, chat. Let's find out if he's got Sakuretsu armor. How about that? I'm gonna boop the lamb token. If he's got a cyber jar, I'm gonna be one upset moving chat. I reveal my face down card. Physical double. You can only activate this card during your opponent's turn. Select one once your opponent's side of the field and special summon one Mirage token in face of attack or defense position on your side of the field. The Mirage token is the same level, type, attribute, attack, defense, as like monster. Destroy the Mirage token at the end of the turn. Uh, oh no! Not that. Not an extra body. <laughs> I, okay, it's just gonna get destroyed at the end of the turn, so I can't don't care anyway. Oh, God. That's unfortunate. I've never seen this card before. Yeah, neither have I. I don't recall this. Well, that's that. All I can do is... I already summoned Mobius, and I only have one copy of it, so... I... All I have left of her back row removal is just Dust Tornado, and that's it. Mm. It's
it's only the optional when effects and only if they have a specific activation time that can be interrupted during a chain or effect resolution. Okay. Time to draw. I guess I'll throw you down. Oh boy, chat. Can't wait to find out what annoying face downs he's got. And, to, and then I finally beat over it to act uh, to hit into uh, Cyber Jar. He definitely has to have Cyber Jar. I, please don't activate another cylinder. Cat of Ill Omen. Okay. I know what that does. Magical Thorn. What card is that? Okay. All right, let's get rid of these stupid things. It won't, basically, it won't matter in this game because it's so unlikely to have an effect to miss timing with so few responsive effects existing right now. Dice Jar. Flip. Both players roll a six-sided die once. The player with the lowest result takes damage equal to his or her opponent's result times 500 points. However, if a winner's result is six, the loser takes 6,000 points of damage? If the results are the same, both players roll again. What the hell is this nonsense? So if he would have rolled a six, I would lose. That would have been the stupidest way to lose the game. Oh my god, that's dumb. I hate that. That would have been, I would have been so mad if he killed me with that. Grave Protector, while this card is face up on the field, uh, monsters are restored as result to battle, return the owner's deck and not to the graveyard. The deck is then shuffled. Thanks for clarifying. Well, it's not face up. It got flipped over and then immediately went to the graveyard, so I guess it doesn't work. Paris, uh, Parasitic Tiki, the attack and defense of this card is equal to the number of tokens on the field times 500. Okay, that doesn't matter. All right, then. That's that, I guess. Looks like he... that Maybe... Imagine if that was his win condition. Imagine if that's just what uh, he wanted to go for. I'm not going to do a banner impression. We all know how bad his dub voice is. With the <laughs> very stereotypical accent that gave him. Oh... I didn't think twice about it as a kid, but watching it back as an adult, it's like, yeah, you can't really do that nowadays, can you? Oh, he's uh, going for emergency provisions. Okay. Oh, boy. He's going with lambs. If they did do English voices for this particular game, yeah, we'd probably be cringing right now. I forget who, who Banner's dub voice actor was. I think he may have been the same guy who voiced, like, Michelangelo in the 2003 Ninja Turtles. When your opponent's cards are discarded to the graveyard, inflict 500 points of damage to his or her life points for each card that was discarded. Okay. It's no big deal. He's got three tokens on the field now. Discarded to the graveyard doesn't mean anything that goes from the field to the graveyard, does it? Not quite sure. Anyways, let's finally set that. Throw this on the field and let's hopefully beat him. All right, don't activate stuff. Don't activate stuff. Don't activate stuff. Get him. Oh, That hurts. He did do the voice of Michelangelo, I called it? Okay. Yeah, I recognize a lot of the turtle voices. I hear them in a lot of places. His, his name was Wayne Grayson, okay. I remember that the voice actor for Tristan is also Yusei in, in the English dub. 
That hurts. And was Joey Wheeler. Okay. Damn, that guy's got range. Man, was Joey Wheeler and freaking Michelangelo. Um, I guess that's that. I can't finish him this turn. Definitely one of the, like, um, more memorable uh, four kids voice actors. Hey. Should probably get rid of that new one he just threw down. Let's do this. Just in case it's something silly. I don't think he's got any cyber jars now. He's got nothing. No, no, I don't think anybody can have Mirror Force in this game. I hope. Just finish him. Hit him. Oh. No, okay. All right. Let's try that again. I killed him. Heck yeah! I win. I suddenly feel exhausted. 247. The duelist bonus for him is 75. Lame. I knew it. I'm just no good. Well, had enough. All right. Uh, I'm trying to remember the freaking button here. Turn effects off again. All right, and what was the next thing I was going to do? I was going to go to the forest at, like, uh, what, 11? Do that. I'm trying to get up the stairs. I'm trying my best to get in the doorways. They just don't want to cooperate. Advance time to what? 11. Try that. Go to 10.45, because it advances by 15 minutes. It's super late now, chat. I've never explored the island this late before, have I? They're down there. Let me make a save. I haven't saved once today. Save complete. Okay, let's check the forest. Anything here? Oh, hi, Jinzo! What are you doing here? You can see me? My name is Jinzo. I guess you're not like the other humans. I'm looking for a victim to restore my power. How's it, how goes that? I'm looking for a victim to restore my power. I can just leave, right? Yeah, you can't stop me. Any other spooks over here? All right, let's duel them then. You, you good to help me out, cat? A duel? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Riveting dialogue here. I'm just waiting around to kill someone. Oh, you want to duel? Cool. Okay, bro, let's duel. Let's duel, bro. He's so friendly, I know. Sacrificial Regenesis. Oh, I probably should turn animations on, yeah, because it's Jinzo. Hang on. Oh, boy. End phase. Keep forgetting, because it slows things down a lot when we turn them on. Okay, this card can be normal summoner set without a tribute. In that case, the original attack and defense of this card become halved. Okay, then. Dust Tornado. Because Jinzo needs a single tribute summon to be uh, summoned. I wonder if he'll go for the tribute summon though. Let's set that. I don't need. I don't need this yet. Let's see what he does. Because if he tribute summons himself, and then I can just boop it back with Nightmare Penguin, that would work out just fine. Let's go. I use my face down card. I use my trap. Was that? Mind Haxers. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There was a real card with uh, this real name. Pay 500 life points. Look at your opponent's hand. All set cards on his or her side of the field. Okay. 
What was that pose? It looks like he was taking a shit. Your soul belongs to me. My turn. I draw. <laughs> that sounds the right animation. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the right animation chat that was so funny <laughs> that caught me off guard when this card is sent from the field of the graveyard each player selects one level three or lower more monster from their deck and adds it to his or her hand after showing it to the opponent the decks are then shuffled okay i end my turn he doesn't have a dual disc Okay, um, anyways, normal monster. I don't have a normal monster at that level, so I don't get anything out of that. That's just <sighs> made me laugh. Hmm, so I can beat over these. Hang on. Uh, he gets a free body in his hand, but it's like, is that really going to be so bad? It's a normal monster at level 3. It's not going to have some stupid effect. Don't want to share the pain. He also just bop that back to his hand for now. And summon Amphibian Beast, and then just attack him once this is on the field. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Oops, not that yet. Penguin gone, amphibian beast in. Activate that. All right, all right, all right, here we go. Let's beat over him. Ah! Stop struggling, it's worthless. Okay. This man goes from very polite to like very mean all of a sudden. Okay, and turn. I believe he's here because there was like a filler episode or something where like some of the blue students, um, yeah, that's not a draw animation <laughs> from my hand. Oh, I make that. There was a filler episode where some of the blue students were doing a seance and they tried to summon Jinzo. I think I like also did a similar event in Duel Academy on the Game Boy Advance. Well, there goes that. Ha. I'm summoning a monster in attack position. Whenever I just hear Jinzo's voice and that, like, uh, that one Jinzo from, like, that, the virtual world arc from the original Yu-Gi-Oh. What's his name? Like, Lecter voicing him? <laughs> with the act, with the funny accent? The Cajun Jinzo. <laughs> yeah. Was that the voice they used for the one that appeared in GX? I don't think I saw that episode. Um, I was actually thinking, chat, of actually doing something on the Discord. Maybe we should get, like, a watch party of the GX dub going. That could be fun. Mr. Kaiba. That's what he sounds like, yeah. Hmm. The one from GX used, like, a gas mask filter for his voice. Okay. He's just standing there menacingly. I guess I'm gonna have to beat into that whether I like it or not. I could share the pain, but it's fine. I'm just gonna attack into him like a chump. I don't want to give up the Mother Grizzly. Hang on. Does it have... Okay, it's... I thought it was water for some reason. Go ahead, take your level 3 normal monster. Ugh. Clever. I activate my monster's effect. Oh, that skipped on its own very quickly. There we go. The funniest thing to me about the virtual world arc with the, uh, the big five is how it takes place in the middle and middle of the battle city arc and the reason that happens is because the manga wasn't wasn't done with the battle city finale so the animators essentially had to just 
make up something to stall for time. So that's why that during that entire season, you just have like Merrick just wandering the ship doing nothing, waiting to be evil again. And that's so funny. And no one else is funny? Him thinking he can use that crap on me. So if you ever wondered why that arc has to happen in the middle of Battle City, and it's so awkward that Merrick has nothing to do that entire time, that's why. It's just because the an the animation team had to stall for time and just make up an arc in the middle of Battle City like that. <laughs> Set a monster. Because right after, like, Merrick just, like, awakens as, like, his evil self and everything. <laughs> it's so dumb. And he just has nothing to do for an entire season while they just, like, mess around with that stuff with Noah and all that. All right. Let's get him. Spirit caller. Well, it's not calling any spirits now. You're just a human. I, I even, even I'm talking in the voice now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. The Southern Jinzo. I guess that's that. Whatever. Grr. My turn. I draw. I like how that's what they put for a draw animation. Like, no, that's not the wrong animation. They just didn't know what to do because he doesn't have a dual disc. This card is sent from the field of the graveyard by the effect of a continuous spell card. Special summon this card from the graveyard during the standby phase of your turn. It's such a specific thing. Now we fight. Take this. My monster attacks. It's the damage step. Yeah. Want him to get destroyed, so this should work. No way. Okay. What was with that, like, poison death mist on that effect? That was a little confusing. My turn's over. I keep doing it. I keep, I keep giving a little voice. A little funny haha. -ha. Well, I should be able to finish him. I have my main phase two as backup. Let's kill him. That should have been water. Call of the Haunted. Uh-oh. That effect is only supposed to be for shadow duels? Well, he's a monster, a real monster, so I guess. Oh, that's right. When you bring him out like that, he gets his full-ass attack power. Uh, no. Well, I got a way to deal with that. Yeah, let's do that. Now we special summon. Perfect. I'll get him next turn. The attack animation is supposed to change depending on the monster's attribute. Oh, so that's supposed to be, like, for dark monsters? Okay, I never noticed, I guess. I set a monster from my hand. I activate a spell. I, I'm still doing it. I keep I keep trying to do the Lecter Jinzo when I talk because I'm reading it in that voice. I'm not <laughs> I'm just doing it without even thinking. He's stalling now. Yeah, that's great. Well, I guess we'll do that. He already used Dark Hole. Is Dark Hole limited to one in this game? I feel like that's a... I think it was limited to one, one on the GBA, so probably is here. He draws. He sets a monster. From my hand, I use a continuous spell. I gotta stop myself. I gotta stop myself. I'm doing it. Once during each player's end phase, the turn player tributes a face up monster to the side of the field and flex damage to your opponent's life points equal to half the original attack attributed monster. Oh. 
Oh. Well, he doesn't have a face-up monster, so he, uh... Can't do anything to me, but I can, uh... Kill him. Hang on, does it say original attack? It was damage equal to half. It's original attack, okay. Well, alright then. I guess I'll hit him with Gaga Gigo or something. Ectoplasm. Please select a monster. It said please, so I can't say no. Ah. Uh, let's go. That's not how it's supposed to be. Uh, my turn. I draw. <laughs> I like how he's just completely static. Imagine if it loads that and he's just in T-pose or something. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. He's gotta- he's gotta get rid of that. I use my monster's effect. Yep, ectoplasm is, uh, ma mandatory. Is it ectoplasm or ectoplasma? Let me see here. Okay, yeah, ectoplasma. So, uh... Alright. I guess I'm just gonna slowly have to kill him here. With his own effect. No, I didn't want to check the details. Please select a monster. Only because you were very polite about it. Uh, oh, that's right. The Doll of Malice is supposed to combo with this effect. I see. That's... I understand now. Come. Oh, there it is. Yeah, now he's gonna do it. You go ahead and do that. My turn is complete. I want to see his loss animation. That'll be funny. Well, I can attack him now. Is he gonna have something cheesy? Oh, of course he does. He got Sangan. Armored zombie. Oh, whoopee. Do, do something with that. DD Trainer. Oh, that thing. You don't like when the life point count ends with five? Heck yeah. Here it comes. Please select a monstrous tribute. I'm just gonna do this. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I basically got him with Nightmare Steel Cage. I draw. I use my monster effect. Ha. Huh. Alright. I set a monster. Hurry up. Hurry up. Starboy being sacrificed isn't going to be enough to kill him. <laughs> It's not going to be enough to kill him. <laughs> All right, then. Uh. Bro! Come on! He's got 50 life points left. Posture check and hydrate. Yes, sir. Let me do that. Let me do that need. He's living, hanging on by a thread. He just keeps doing the same thing. Why did it go back to the normal music? I'm still winning. <laughs> Even the game expects him to be dead right, right now. Oh. Uh, go ahead. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. I'm gonna win with this. We got him, chat. We got him. I just have to throw down my monster, sacrifice it, and I win.
end my turn. Use the stupid... No. <sighs> Not the yes I wanted to say yes to. Please select a monster. There you go. Your opponent's life points have been reduced to zero. Finally. You can't be a lowly human. 266 for that? Wow. That was so not worth it. Do I get anything special by beating him? Hey, you're pretty good. Hee hee hee. Okay. Later. He didn't even summon Jinzo. What about here? Oh, hi, Alexis. How are you? Fancy meeting you here. What's going on? Meow. Oh, hi, Pharaoh. What do you want to talk about? Dueling, of course. You're just the person I was looking for. Had a great talk. Hello, Zane. How are you? Asprey. If you're in the same dorm as Jade and Yuki, you must have a lot of chances to see him duel. Jade and duels... Or his duels have unlimited possibilities. Having him around is good for you and Cyrus. Pharaoh. Duels. You'll listen. You had a great talk. All right. Now, what else can I do this late at night? Check out the volcano. Anybody here? Nope. What about the cliff? Anyone here? Nothing else that's special around. You're feeling sleepy. Time to go home. Sunday. So you just woke up. Sunday is set aside for tag duels. Care to join me? Will you tag duel? Yes. All right. Welcome to the special site for the tag duel. Your explanation? The tag force tournament will soon begin. Therefore, you must get acquainted with tag duels. We'll hold tag duels every Sunday at this duel arena. Other types of duels will be forbidden. Rule breakers will be tossed into the ocean. If you want to leave, simply talk to me. Understood? So start dueling till you can't tag no more. Oh boy. All right. Why are these two together here? Come in here on your day off? You must be bored. You want duel? Heh, you got some nerve. Fine, bring it. He's actually gonna duel me, chat. He's actually dueling me now. As he's with Bastion. Because these two are partners, I guess. All right. Challenge me. Fine, I'll take you on. It's Chaz time, chat. I'm ready. Allow me to witness your strategies. No Chaz? Okay. Everything proceeds as calculated. My turn. Here I go. I summon a monster in attack position. Insect Knight. From my hand, I activate a continuous spell. He's going with Heart of the Underdog. We just want to see Chaz. And then we'll turn off animations again. Here goes. My turn. Draw. Check out his hand, chat. He sets a monster. From my hand, he's activating a spell. Oh, okay. I set a card. 
I end my turn. Here I go. My turn. Draw. Oh. He actually got that effect to go off. He's activating the spell. Chaz's hair looks so weird on a 3D model. You realize how stupid his hair is. I'm not even dueling yet. I'm just waiting around for my turn. Here we goes. All right, finally. Yeah, this is gonna take way too long with that with dual effects on. So let's just turn that off now. Okay, it's my turn. You don't have any. Water? No, you don't. Good. There's this. I'm gonna throw you down now. Don't expect you to get destroyed. Maybe next time when I tribute. He's got magic cylinder and diffusion down. Look at that lad go. Hmm. Probably get rid of this in case he does something with it. 18 cards in his extra deck chat. 18 cards. Alright. It's easier to follow along the tag duels without the animations, I would say. Oh, great. Snatch steal. Okay. Oh, goody. Well, then. Ooh, get him, Zane. Get him. Get him with that blowback dragon. Ooh, doing that with Snatch Steel. Ooh. Look at you. You get to use my monster, right? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, sending these chumps to the Shadow Realm. All right, here we go. Blowback Dragon isn't going to get buffed off of me here. Hmm, be easier if I just set you. I don't need to last will anything right now. This is fine. Yeah, I know, I'm going to go for a little bit longer and just end. Let me see. We're on defense mode now. Um, that's right, I can activate this effect. There's no reason not to. I'll main do it during main phase two. Too late now to do it during main phase one because I skipped ahead. X head cannon. Ooh. Too late, buddy. Hang on, what's it say? During your main phase. Yep. Main phase two. Card to destroy. Let's return during your main phase. You can special someone you monster level four lower from your hand. Yeah, let's just get rid of that if I can. Nope. One heads, two tails. Alright, looks like that's that. Draw phase. Okay, he's gonna hit me with lightning vortex. Um, I'm not gonna do too much tag duels because I've been going a really long time today. And we're nearing like the end of like today's episode. Next episode of this, though, I will kind of be skipping ahead more with the time, so we'll, we'll get to Sunday pretty quickly, don't worry. So which is, is it always just, like, whoever is, like, the, has the highest affection, or is it just, like, random if you max them all out? Roll out. Yeah, go ahead. Ooh. He going with Cylinder. Got him. XY Dragon Cannon. Okay, that thing. Which one does this do? Discard a card, destroy one face up spell or trap card. Oh, I know what he's doing. Yep. Okay. That's the case. Hmm. I got another one. What does this do again? 
Destroy the monster with... Hang on. Go back to it, please. Applying damage calculation. All right. So let's use Last Will. Then we're going to Tribute Summon you. And now that a monster went to the graveyard, Last Will goes off. If you don't have high affection with anyone, you just get Chumley. Oh, that's insulting. Chumley? Why not Cyrus? Okay, we're gonna bring out the star boy. Make the buff go even better. There's that. I can use his Call of the Haunted to bring out something later, but what's in here? Graveyard is shared. Uh, I can bring back Blowback Dragon. That wouldn't be too bad, actually. I get a free chance at, like, blowing something up on the field. Alright. Okay. Activate the effect. Let's see if we can just boop this for free. One. Got him. All right. Let's kill him with Zane's monster. Perfect kill. Hey. Look at that. That's all I got. Jeez. Tag dual victory bonus. Oh, whoopee. 50. <sighs> no way. So it looks like I get no affection with everyone today. These are the same people. All right, so this is just free tag dueling and they'll, until I can leave. Total destruction, heck no. Okay. Cyrus is going to be annoying. Not a huge selection here. Alexis ain't around either. Okay, let's just duel Jaden. Yeah, there's no reason to refuse. All these people here at 5.45 a.m. Yeah, you're telling me. Let's go second. I guess. <laughs> Alexis doesn't show if Zane's here. Oh, yeah, I guess they're partners then. Okay. What about Mindy and Jasmine? They're not partners here? You think they would? Skyscraper. Ooh, look at that background chat. Ooh, Zane said no. Storm destroyed that city. Do I get affection points for winning tag duels against the two people? I don't know. I have no idea how this works. We're not going to get to do too much of it, sadly, chat. I've been streaming a long time today, and we're like three and a half hours into Yu-Gi-Oh. We got to see a lot, though, today, and made some good progress on building the deck, I'd say. Okay, Gyroid's got that annoying effect. Hmm... No field spell there. What could I go for? I'll let Zane play around with the penguin. How about that? How about that? End turn. Think you don't get points for these? Oh, don't you dare. You scum. Wait. Yeah, go ahead. Ooh, Zane, get his ass, get his ass. Come on. One. Two, yeah, we got him. Perfect. Ooh, swords. Ooh. You ain't doing none of that crap. 
Okay, Fissure's here. And I can do my special summons. Yes, sirree. Okay. Activate the effect. No, do that next. Summon this. Yeah, I'll use it. I'll use it. There's no reason to not to go for this. It's just a free removal if I get lucky. Oh, okay. I guess this goes off. I don't even need to flip the coins. There's no reason to flip them. It doesn't matter. Well, I got it. <laughs> All right, let's hope we don't get Sakuretsu armored. Get him. Okay, 1050. Two, okay. He's almost out of life points. He's down to just 250, chat. Two freaking 50. And turn. Come on, Zane. I know you can do it. Nope. Don't need to do that. You got nothing. Call the haunted. Oh, he's bringing back Gyroid. You're gonna die to battle damage, buddy. In a moment, you will, anyway. There we go. Only a little bit from that again. Duelist bonus is that. Alright. Let's go one more. Oh, I lost. Let's duel these two, and that'll be it for tag duels right now. Go ahead. We want to summon the Cyber Dragon, of course. Rising Insects, Warrior Recruits. It's tag time, chat. Command Knight. Yeah, that silly thing. Ooh, Zane, what the hell happened to your hand? That's quite the opening draw. Those cards won't get added to my hand, depending on how it works, does it? Alright, you're setting me up, you're setting me up, not bad. Oh, they got last will. Chat, okay, chat, the AI's using it, so you can't get mad at me for using it. You can't get mad at me. Okay. That's set up for me. What does this do again when this card battles the monster's under the damage calculation? Remove from play the opponent's monster and this card. Okay, it's that thing. And that gives you another body on board, huh? Okay. Okay. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. It's gonna be a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Hmm. Zane's gonna attack into it anyway, but so I may as well just cycle through you. At least do some battle damage this way. 700. Yep, summon it. Insect level 3. Special summon effect ultimate insect as long as it means to increase all your opponent uh, during your standby phase. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, no, it only gets that if it came out through level 1, so that's it doesn't matter. Alright, that's that. Snatch steal, of course you got that. Hey, would you do that? Oh, this isn't good. I've just been bamboozled by my own cards.
Zane coming in with frickin' polymerization, though. Technically, but Zane, he has a chance of fusing my Cyber Dragons with his. That'd be good. All right, all right. He got some cards now. We're in trouble, though. Wait, did you cylinder with the strongest? Okay, good. Gonna take some burn damage. Okay. That certainly helped, somehow. But we're in a bit of trouble here. You gotta do more for me, Zane. Okay, we get some life points back. Zane didn't, is not gonna have a water monster to cycle through on his turn. So I should just give him Last Penguin to work with, and maybe I should set Last Will so he can use it. I, it's all up to Zane to fix this. I can't do anything. He might be able to. He has Nobleman, so we can get rid of that, at least. He just needs to use the Penguin properly. We, we gotta leave it all up to my partner, chat. That's what Tag Duel's all about. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Zane. Come on, Zane, you got this. UFO turtle, uh-oh. Select a target from the field. Okay, I get to choose. Okay, then. Um... If I get rid of Snatch Steel, then I get this, but he can just... They can just activate Snatch Steel again, so it doesn't make a difference. I don't remember which one of them owned it, but they're gonna get to use it anyway. It doesn't matter who owned it. Ah, uh, they already used this. Maybe I should get rid of the warrior lady, but then this thing has a bunch of... <sighs> damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Great, great, great. That's right. At least it'll be a deterrent for the rest of the turn, but uh, it sucks. I guess I don't really have much of a choice. Oh, no. Okay, I see. Never mind. I wasn't sure about the order. I guess that player didn't own Snatch Steel, because I generally don't remember which one of them did. You attack Turtle? Well, damn, I guess that's all you could do, huh? Come on, they only got a little bit of life points left. Okay, you're gonna put Snatch Deal down, for sure. Oh, God. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, we lost. We lost, Zane. You lose. 32 points. Oh, well. Yeah, I won. Maybe you should treat me to lunch now. All right. Zane just didn't have much. Did you see Zane's opening hand? He had two copies of polymerization and a bunch of spells. He didn't really have monsters to help me out with. All right. Welcome to the special site for tag duels. Perform nothing? What is this, like, Google Translate options they used here? <laughs> what? This this looks like it, a goo like they just popped it in Google Translate to, like, put this text here. <laughs> Perform nothing. Go Goodbye. This is the only- that's the only menu in the game I've seen that acts like that. That's just weird. Okay, so Sunday is just, yeah, tag duels, practice, and that's it. Yeah, I've only searched out Cyber Dragon instead of Magic Cylinder for that one thing. Alright, it's just gonna go to the thing and save. Alright, chat. Overwrite data, save completed. There we go. We're gonna go and stop here, chat. I've been going for quite a while, and I'm very tired and hungry, and it's late. 
<laughs> I gotta be up early tomorrow. So, I hope y'all enjoyed. We're gonna, we're probably gonna get through a week next, uh, a week much faster next time and do some more tag duels. I made some good progress on the deck, I would say. Um, there's still more I can definitely do to improve it. Like, getting two more copies of Mobius would be fantastic for sure. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good night. Bye-bye.